Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Lord, we worship your majesty. We say thou alone art worthy. Masata kalagala baros de te. Let's be in the mood of worship. Let's wave to the King of Kings. Let's wave to the Lord of Lords. He's the Most High God. He rules and reigns in the affairs of men. He's the God of wonders, the God of freedom. Let's go ahead and begin to worship His name. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Ela leka liba rusi tele gelebo yaka 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 leke lebo rose nde yelebo. Father, we give you all the praise. Lord, we worship your holy name. From January till till then, we appreciate your holy name. Bless her be your name forever. We say, you have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus, you
the Lord, praise ye the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day he has made. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul.
glory. Father, we are grateful to you. Thank you for the new month. Give you all the glory. Thank you, our Father, for the Next Levels Conference. To you alone be all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Can you welcome five people to the new month? Happy new month to you. Happy independence to you, Nigeria. Happy new month to you, Nigeria. Happy new month to you, GCIC. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Please take your seat. You are welcome to the month of October. The month of double grace. This month, you will enjoy grace in Jesus' name. We give God the glory for the gift of life. We thank him for another month. May his name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for the independence of our nation. We give God the glory. It's time for Power Thought Daily Devotional. Also, today is the grand finale of our Next Levels Conference 2023. Hallelujah! Today is Sunday, 1st October 2023. Pray for your country. Pray for your country. Isaiah 66, verse 10 and 11. Isaiah 66, 10 and 11. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations, that ye may make out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. The word of wisdom for today says, when you are truly passionate about your nation, you must be a recipient of the portion of your nation. Your true freedom, your true freedom and complete emancipation is attached to that of your country where you originate from and where you live. No matter the freedom and influence that you enjoy, if the land you live in is not in peace, then your peace is not complete. I want to pray for somebody today that you will know true peace in the name of Jesus. Your true peace and prosperity is attached to the peace of the nation where you originate from and the nation where you reside. Jeremiah 29 verse 7. Jeremiah 29 verse 7. And seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray unto the land for it. For in it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. We pray for our dear nation Nigeria from today that this country will know peace in the name of Jesus. Say louder, amen. For example, the destiny and greatness of Abraham was tied to the country where he resided. The marital bliss of Isaac, the son of Abraham, was predicated on the country of his origin. Also, your business breakthrough and also the business breakthrough of Isaac cannot be divorced from the land where he lived. The final freedom of jo Jacob and his settlement in life was tied to the place of his birth. Nehemiah, original called Biera, became the governor because of his passion for his nation. I want to pray for you and pray for our nation this today that we will know true peace in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. What do we do? Number one, be passionate about your nation and then pray for your nation always. And thank God today is our independence. We are going to pray for our country. Are you ready to pray for Nigeria? Please be on your feet as we pray. Say, Father, we thank you for the exemptional love that you have for Nigeria. To you alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you make everything new for Nigeria in all aspects in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let this nation and all our citizens Enter a new chapter of good things in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you deliver and rescue Nigeria and Nigerians from the hand of our oppressors in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, arise and establish your purpose over Nigeria and let us begin to enjoy the good and blessings of the land. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you put the government of this nation on your shoulder. In the name of Jesus. Pray into the Holy Ghost right now. Pray for Nigeria that this country will know true peace. Deliverance and rescue for our dear nation, Nigeria. We will know true peace in our land. No more corruption in Nigeria. 
mazike tebo zuta no more kidnapping in our nation no more banditry in Nigeria. Magadagadosha. Iko setebo suta. No more scarcity in Nigeria. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, we ask for peace in Nigeria. Peace for every Nigerian in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Three powerful amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Let's jam our hands together as we celebrate God on a special day like this. Let's begin to package our offering this morning. Let's package something special on a special day. Package your offering. Package something wonderful, awesome. To a special God. And as you're packaging your offering, if you have packaged yours, let's raise it to the Almighty God. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Thank you for a day like this. We thank you for the grace to give our offering this morning. We sanctify the offering, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. As the ushers pass the basket around, you drop your offering and the choir will lead us. Hallelujah. Hey. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. will never be enough my worship is more than just a song cause you love me more than I deserve more than I deserve yeah. I'll praise you till the end of days I'll raise you sing a shout your praise yeah. Cause you love me more than I deserve, more than I deserve. My praise will never be enough, my praise will never be enough. My worship is more than just a Cause you love me more than I deserve, more than I deserve. Hey. I'll praise you till the end of days, till the end of days. I will raise you, sing a shout your praise. Cause you love me, me more than others, more than I deserve. One more time. My praise will never be enough, my praise will never be enough. My worship is more than more than just a song Cause you love me Hey, more than I deserve Hey, I praise you till the end of days Till the end of days I will raise you Cause you love me more than I deserve, more than I deserve. Hey, what? Open me, go it all. Oh, don't you more. And check on your love. Check on your love. Let go. Hey, 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 she's in my Open me, go it Open me. I will praise you to the end of days. I check my your love, your love, your love, I'll call your love, Lord. 
So, tell me why, why you never let me go? Hey, cause you love me more than others, yeah. more than others, yeah. Hey, your word is written in my heart. Hey, your song is flowing from my mouth. Hey, I praise you to the end of days. I praise you every day. Oh, oh, my midweight. Can you join me, say? Has God done something for you this morning? Hey, with a grateful heart, we say. Yeah, we might to be shown in my head. Up and be grateful, up and be grateful. Oh, don't you know? Let your color go. Let your color go. Hey, 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 hey. My praise will never be enough. Hey. My worship is more than just a song Cause you love me more than I deserve More than I deserve oh. hey, I'll praise you till the end of days I'll raise you, sing and shout your praise hey, Cause you love me more than I deserve more than I deserve. Can you tell me, say, my praise, my praise will never be enough. My worship is more than just a song. you love me more than I deserve. More than I deserve. It says, I praise you to the end of days. Till the end of both, sing a shout of praise. I'll you, sing a shout of praise. Cause you love me, me more than I, more than I deserve. Is somebody grateful this morning? Let's go. Let's sing. Open me, 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 open Hey, Come on, lift your hands and say, Oh, don't you want? With an art of gratitude, we say thank you, Jesus. I want to hear you sing this song. Raise your hand and say, Your go. One more time. Up and me, Koito. The Lord has been faithful, and we are grateful to you, Jesus. If I have one million tongues, if I have ten thousand tongues, they are not enough to worship you. Shady Matupe, open me, Koito. Tani 
same page that we need to thank God. But as I was coming up, God told me, he said, tell them if there is anyone under the sound of my voice today, whether on ground or online, that you have looked at your life and there is nobody that you are better than, then you have a case against him. Just in one minute, just run through your life. Is there anyone that as you look as at today, there is nobody you are better than? Don't forget some of your friends that have died. Before you begin, let me remind you. So that and the people that are not up to your age that they have done dust to dust for. Don't forget one or two that you may know that have run mad. That if they say before they give them food, they cane them. And don't forget, anyone that may be in coma, yes, he looked to be alive, but he's not engaging life. So question, is there anyone here that you have looked at your life? There is nobody you are better than. And in case you say, Pastor, I don't understand what you are saying. The Bible says, let everything that has bread. Psalm 150, verse 6. Pastor, you don't know. This is 10 months. God has not done anything for me. I agree. But question, you can see it on the multimedia on the screen. Let everything, not even every living thing alone, everything that has bread, you are breathing. What do you do? Praise the Lord. He doesn't have a, a house of his own yet. What must he do? 
He doesn't have a car. What must he do? If he's breathing, what must he do? Hear this. The only way to pay your rent to the landlord, the landlord of this earth is the almighty God. The earth belongs to the law and the fullness thereof. He's the landlord and everybody must pay rent. The only way to pay your rent is to give him thanks. Let everything that has bread pay rent by giving thanks. And when you are giving them, don't just say, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Somebody sent me a text one time and I put a question mark. I said, what? For, for what? Okay, just send it in. Thanks. And we are talking about, about 500,000 naira here. You see, many people, it's not about what is done, what is not done. It's that they have attitude of ingratitude. And it's bad. Just say, thanks. Okay, thank what? So I put there, question mark, thanks for what? I saw the money. Anyway, that was the last. They said, in my village, you are cutting a tree. And they said, who is that? Is there a gamer? He said that. That was the last one. The reason why God has not improved many people is because they don't have gratitude. I want to give you two minutes to pay your rent this morning to the Almighty God. I've said all I can. If you are not still according to thank Him, you still have a case against God. He has offended you. Okay? Take Him to the court. Universal court. Two minutes. Please go and give Him thanks. Please go and thank your Father in heaven. This is October, sir. This is October. This is October. This is October. This is October. Oh, this is October. This is October. This is October. Brother, this is October. Mother, this is October. Uncle, this is October. Jehovah has kept you alive. Please, let's humble ourselves before our Maker. Let's give Him thanks. 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 Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Ashata la da baria na gadosha. Ale parroshada. I am a shada diza. He kept a shada barria. He kept a shada barra. He parrosa. I am a shada. Avariata. He posiria. Avariata. I am a shada. He kept a shada. I am a shada. Barriata. He porrosa. Eketosha, ele ketosha da, amariata, eketosha da, etoriata, masata ya, marosi ne, eketasha, eketosha, erosha, erosi ne, eketosha. minute more. I've told you in the past, Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving. Until you are meticulous about it. You gave me bread and butter. Thank you. You have to mention it. I have my sister there, Mr. Giwa. Um, she will come and say, look, this one happened. This one happened. This one happened. Sometime I wonder. Said I, I enter, I enter a cab in London. I didn't even have, and this one happened. Why will she be telling me about this? Every detail matter to God. In one minute, go and tell God, you gave me yam and palm oil over here. And this time around, you even put salt there. I'm grateful. Go ahead. One minute. One minute. Be meticulous. Be meticulous. Don't just generalize your thanksgiving. Generalize thanksgiving. Does not go with God. Just be meticulous. 
be meticulously meticulous about it. This is what you have done for me. Be meticulous about it. Is waiting at the end for the thanksgiving of the saint. I'm grateful, Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all yes. He has done for me, my very soul shall sing. She Milano, Baba She Milano, Ayer Aye She Milano, Ichin Life She Milano, Yango Yaju She Milano, Oko Ijo She Milano, Kine Uwe Yajuda She Milano, She Milano. Give me a bolongo rest. Oh, shame, so shame, Lalu. Ah, ah, bolongo rest. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. You have done so much for me. Confidence, you will do so much again. And I praise you. You have done so much for me. You will do so much again. And I praise God. Ashila da Barusha. Great is thy faithfulness. Great. the testimony
Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. Thank you for August. Thank you for September. Here we are on the first day in October 2023. We are still standing. We are grateful. To you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for health and vitality. Thank you for preservation of lives and properties. We have come to give you praise. We have come to give you thanks. We have come to honor you. And thank you so much for Next Level Conference. What a conference this year. What a conference this year. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for your wonders. Thank you for the Fiji. We are grateful. Lord, this money, bigger and better blessing shall be released upon our lives. Forever we shall praise you. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Somebody say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Say in the name of Jesus, from this money, bigger and better shall be the testimony of Matthew Morakio and his family in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that one prayer? Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger and better shall be the portion of Matthew Morakio from this morning. Bigger and better. 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 It shall get better by the day. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Mashatalva ria kaposhara. Madushi dianta. Eleva riata. Eshalava riata. Ekeboshara. Imoshi diata. Eleva rosa. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of prayer and please be seated. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome to church and welcome to the new month. Happy, happy new month. This shall be your month of lifting, your month of increase, your month of enlargement. In the name of Jesus, nothing will go down around your life. In the name of Jesus. So good to see you this morning. Beautiful and handsome faces. All through the month, it shall be celebration. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly this morning, as we bring this next level conference 2023 to an end today, we're going to be looking at bigger and better blessing. Bigger and better blessing. It's important to remind ourselves that the part of every born again child of God is progressive, not retrogressive. You see, our inheritance and allocation and portion in the kingdom, we are not left in the doubt. The scripture has described the boundaries of our inheritance. Not left in the doubt at all. In Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. You see, anything you can see from Genesis to Revelation is the divination of our inheritance in the kingdom. In Acts chapter 20, verse 32, the Bible said that you be built up. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. What about it? Which is able to build you up. 
The word of God is a builder. The word of God is a builder. And to give you an inheritance among all of them which are sanctified. Hear this. The inheritances of every child of God is described and defined in the scripture. Anything you can capture in the scripture can be established for you as your inheritance. And one of those inheritances is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says, but the path, the way, where the born again travel is ordained as a shining light. It's shining more and more. It's because of space. You will have seen more, 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 more. It's shining more and more unto the perfect day. Which day is the perfect day when Jesus will appear? See, you are not expected to have a better yesterday. No. Your yesterday is not to be better than today. Your last month is not supposed to be better than this month. Your last year is not supposed to be better than this year. The part of every child of God is ordained to be more and more. So we are ordained for the next level every day of our life. Can I hear your amen? We are ordained for what? Every day of our life. Look, if you can't believe the scripture, you are not a believer. We are called believers because we are the one that can believe what has not been seen. That's why we are called believers. If you don't believe the scripture, you are not a believer. And it is what you believe that you become. And you know what? This excites me so much. It's not only even limited to you as an individual. It also extends to your children. Psalm 115 verse 14. Psalm 115 verse 14. The Bible says, The Lord, look at more again. You see, I just love this more. More. One, two, go. Can we read together? The Lord shall increase me. <laughs> Not you. He said me. More and more. Me and my children. The Lord shall increase me more and more. You see, progress is measurable. You can tell I was 5 centimeter, now 10 centimeter. Progress is measurable. More and more. You can't be increasing as a parent and your children are bringing you a negative report card from school. May you not be such a parent. You can't be a mega father and have daft children. The Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children. And you know, whatever you also do, whatever come out of you is also your children. Have you heard of brain child before? That is an idea that you gave back to. It's part of your children. So your business is not expected to be less and less. But everything to increase and increase and increase. However, the challenge is not God's provision. The challenge is the condition. In the passage and scripture we have been considering for the conference, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, especially verse 10 this morning, we saw that Jabez prayed a prayer. He said, if I'm going to be enlarged, there is something that I must do. That I must pray for. He said, oh, that thou may bless me indeed. So we have been looking at the keys to the enlargement. And the keys we are looking at this morning is the key of blessing. Nothing can increase without blessing that it carries. Yes, you can struggle. And that's what the world believes in. They will tell you the smartest, the skivu, the connected. People boast about their connection today. And that's why they are disappointed. You see, you can't be disappointed if God 
is your connection. The Bible said they look unto him. Their face was lightened and they were not put to shame. The last shame you see in your life shall be the last forever. There's nothing wrong in uh, leveraging on connection, but don't bank on it. But don't bank on it because every man is still man. Every man is still what? Every man is still man. There are many mighty men, but there is only one almighty. Many of them. So they look unto him, Psalm 34 verse 5. They look unto him. Their face was lightened. And what? And they were not put to shame. The last shame you see will be the last forever. He said, oh, that thou would have blessed me indeed. Anything that must enlarge must carry God's blessing. The blessing of God is like a yeast. Yeast that they put in flour that blow it up. When the blessing of God rests on anything, that thing will increase. So when the blessing of God rests on your shop, when it rests on your business, when it rests on your life, everybody can know the blessing is resting upon me. Take for example, a man called Joseph. Genesis chapter 39. Genesis 39. From verse 1, let's quickly consider it. A blessing. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. If you know the meaning of that, that is relegated. Hear this. When you carry blessing, no mortal man can demote you. What they call demotion, when blessing is on you, it leads to your promotion. We don't focus on what we should focus on. Said that man demoted me. They say, you know in those days when you write Waek and you didn't come out well, you tell everybody, see what Waek gave me. You see what Waek gave me? See, see what he gave me. But if you clear it and you have a see what I got. But if it is failure, see what Waek gave me. You see, Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian brought him of the hand of Ishmaelite, he was sold twice, which had brought him down again. Tida. Joseph was brought down two times. Verse 2. And the law was with Joseph. I love that. When you are blessed, divine presence is with you. No matter who has left you, if God has not left you, you are still intact. And he was a prosperous man. When you are blessed, success become common around you. Prosperous man. Prosperous man. May you be a prosperous man in October. You don't know the meaning of that. A slave cannot be a prosperous man. In their time, a slave is considered as part of property. You can't get to your car after the grace now. And you discover that the car that you brought, 403, has become Lamborghini. We use the enter such a car. Because car is a property. Car is not expected to, proper, to prosper. A property cannot prosper. Now you get home now after the service. You now get to your bedroom and you discover that your bedroom has filled the whole room. And you say, ah, ah. <laughs> the anointing of this bottomatio is very, very great. Oh, it has <laughs> my bed has. <laughs> if you lie down on that bed, don't tell me that. <laughs> A property cannot prosper. But when the blessing of God is upon anything, it enlarges. He was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. It doesn't matter where they post you. When you carry blessing, you will still make impact. Verse 3. Now, look at it. This is number 4 sign of blessing. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. Blessing is noticeable. It's noticeable. You can't carry it and people not notice it. It's noticeable. Just like you notice people that carry courses and say, ah, one tell him man here. They're following this man. Blessing also is noticeable. 
he was, and, and the master saw that the Lord was with him, and the Lord made all that he did to do what? To prosper in his hand. By the time you are trying this, you fail. You try this, you fail. You try this, you, fail. you know something is wrong. You have closed down three businesses. You have closed down three companies. Something is definitely wrong. Everything he did, he sell pure water, he sell it. Everything he did. Will you strike for your hands by the help of God? This month on the first day, I decree and declare over you, anything you do this month shall succeed. Anything you do this month shall prosper. Anything you do this month shall go forward. Everything he did prosper. Can you imagine for 10 months now that everything you lay your hand upon prosper? You won't be where you are. So blessing is important for us to enlarge, for us to increase. But the question, how do we arrive at this blessing? Two things and then we'll begin to do our thanksgiving. Number one is your attitude of gratitude. It attracts blessing. Attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Psalm 92 verse 1 and 2. Psalm 92 verse 1 and 2. You may not feel like it, but you owe him thanks. The Bible says it is a good thing to give thanks. So, it's a bad thing not to give thanks. The Lord asked me to tell somebody, take it from me. From now on, no more disappointment. From now on, no more disappointment. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. What does it mean? It is a bad thing not to give thanks. To sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Hear this. Every time you complain, you complicate your matter. Numbers 11, verse 1. Every time you complain, you, co you complicate your matter. People complain too much. And his attitude of failure, even they complain against God, they complain against human being. Hear this. There is no mortal man that is behind your failure. If any man is there, it only has 25%. 75% of it is your own. For example, if you stretch forth your hand like this now, your finger, pointing finger, how many, how many is looking at somebody? One. How many is pointing to you? So, therefore, I tell you that that's it. Uh, that's, uh, you, are, you are largely, let's remove this thumb there. But the remaining four, it's pointed it to you. Or you say this one, is pointing to somebody. Another one is pointing to God. But the remaining part is pointing to you. So, external contribution to your success is 25%. 75% is your responsibility. Benjamin Franklin said, don't spoil apology by excuse. <laughs> don't spoil it. So, take responsibility. Lord, I am grateful. If you are grateful, what will God do? Verse 10, Psalm 92, verse 10, and then we begin to get into the practical of it. Psalm 92, verse 10. If you learn the attitude of gratitude, I tell you, you will increase. Look at it. He has given thanks in verse 1 and 2. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of unicorn. Hear the, this man you will be promoted. This man you will be lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man God will lift you up. God will lift you up. God will lift your family up. You will not be at the same level anymore. 
For my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Number two, when you, are grat when you are grateful, what blessing do you get? Fresh oil. Fresh oil. You need fresh oil to make fresh impact. You need fresh oil to make fresh impact. You can't carry stale oil and generate new level. No. You need fresh oil. Verse 11. When you give time, what are the blessings that you receive? I will God the thanksgiving enlarge you. My eyes also shall see my desire on my enemy. Number three, when you are a thanksgiver, God deals with your enemies. God deals with your enemies. You see, many of us are trying to retaliate. People that are wise, that know God, they don't face their enemy directly by themselves. They do what they need to do because... The witch that will kill a child, they don't see blood in his mouth. They don't see blood. They, they, go, they do what they need to do. And God deal with their enemies. And that one is better. You know what they call that one? Winning without fighting. It's Thanksgiving that makes you to arrive at that. Yeah, there is a place of fighting. But there is a place of winning without fighting. Verse 11. So number three, God deal with your enemy and then you enlarge. My ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. May the Lord fight for you this man. Verse 12, number four. Verse 12. The righteous shall flourish. You see the enlargement now. This man, you will flourish. Oh. Ah, you will flourish. Your finance will flourish. You will not dry up. The righteous shall flourish like palm tree. Hmm. You know how flourishing palm tree used to be? There are about 10 products you can take out of palm tree. He shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. So when you are a thanksgiver, you flourish. When you are a thanksgiver, supernatural growth. Somebody say supernatural growth. Verse 13 and 14. Those that be planted in the house of the law shall flourish in the court of our God. Not here and there. Not that they see you today, they don't see you tomorrow. They are planted. They are tree planted. People don't follow the scripture, but they expect the product to deliver. It doesn't happen. God will not break his word for you. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Ah, For all our senior citizens, your time has come. You will continue to be fruitful. You will not be a failure in your last hour. They shall be fat and flourishing. They shall be fat and flourishing. So when you see anybody that is fat, it's because he's blessed. <laughs> but that fat that he's talking about there is talking about the possession around you. You know, there are people that you can't easily uproot them. If they are to leave Abuja today, it will be as if a container is shifting. Not every woman being that you see on the street, it's one man. There are, one, there are some that are hundred men in one. <laughs> in my play, they call them Okonimeta. So, the, the kind of weight that they carry because the, the Lord has blessed them. I want to decree over you this very month, you shall be fat and flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible said, The Lord has blessed Abraham in all things. Verse 14, verse 14, verse 14. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Verse 15. The last verse. To show that the Lord is upright. Hmm. Blessing is what establishes the faithfulness of God. If you are not blessed, people will doubt God. They can't see him. But through you, they must know God exists. To show that the Lord is upright. That people don't serve him in vain. 
is a rock and there is no unrighteous in him. There is no unrighteous in him. There is no unrighteous in him. All the people that are in the other religion, in my um, paternal side, some things for some years now have been sent to them. Now all of them believe in Jesus in principle. <laughs> they believe in Jesus because every month they eat the rice of Jesus. <laughs> they take tomato. So there are some of their prayer I can play for you. You hear them mentioning Jesus' name. Say in Jesus, the pastor, the Lord will bless. In fact, this means lie that Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> he will bless you. He will bless you. Jesus will then tell you, ah, oh, do, oh. He, he, that is, this Jesus you are following is sweet, oh. He's sweet, oh. Jesus that can give rice and give tomato is a sweet Jesus. You see. You have been telling them, Jesus is Lord. They have been ignoring you because nothing is dropping. Nothing is dropping. To show that the Lord is upright and is faithful. That's what the blessing of God is for. It's not for accumulation. It's for distribution. Second key that make you to enlarge in the kingdom is called kingdom priority. Kingdom priority. God will not just enlarge you for your own sake. Mm -mm. Your life is too small for God to focus on it. He is focusing on your life because you will be a distribution center. I'll give you a scripture and then we'll begin to pray. Job 36 verse 11. Thou shalt serve the Lord. If, if they obey and serve him, they spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. And here the John 10, 35, scripture cannot be broken. Because cannot be broken. If they obey and serve him. Hear this. The Lord want to enlarge you so that you can lift the name of Jesus for the world to see. For the world to see. This is 10 months. How much of your time, how much of your strength, how much of your resources has gone into kingdom? Do you know that up to now, Jesus is not the most popular person in the world. The whole total statistics of the follower of Jesus is not up to 3 billion. We have 8 billion people in the world. If Jesus is going to be seen, if he's going to enlarge, and everything you pray to him, you have the prayer, you have this, you have that. Okay, what am I going to do? Do for the kingdom. How many people will say Jesus is Lord through me? Statistics shows people that know about iPhone today, Apple, a company that somebody started some few years ago, they are more than 5 billion. More than 5 billion. When we don't know the purpose of the enlargement, we lose what God has intention of doing. I give you the last testimony and then we get into Thanksgiving. Some years back, a man called Copeland walked up to Rea Bonke in South Africa in an hotel and he said, Evangelist, I am sent to believer for them to prosper. You are sent to win so directly to the unbeliever. I want to partner with you. For every of your crusade in Africa, I will give one million dollars. And then I will release jets for you. Rebonke said, Copeland is our greatest partner. Look, 
It's not even usual. Every believer is called to win souls. Copeland is still on the earth today, going to 90. The United States of America just certify of reason that he can still fly his plane by himself at going to 90. Hear this, sir. There are things you can't pretend for long. This man has been preaching for about more than 60 years now, talking about, I, 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 I believe in divine healing. When you are getting to 80, ask all our senior citizens here whether they can jump like our children. You know, there are things you can't pretend for long ago. You can't pretend it for long. You can't pretend it. It will show. But these people have been allowed. I was saying something the other day. Because as at the last count, about 10 years ago, he has given a 27 aeroplane out. And then one of the people checked up for me and said it has gotten to 37. Dashing people aeroplane for the gospel's sake. Those that want to go and pray. If you don't know what that one means, by tomorrow, call your locker that around your house. Say, and say, you are donating 15 Okada <laughs> to them. You know, I, when I was sharing, I said, I said it to that, the people I was sharing with. And I said, at least each Okada is about 70,000. He said, Pastor, we are, which world are you living? Because I know it was 70,000. We bought it like in about, uh, about 20 years ago. <laughs> they say Okada has passed that too. <laughs> that uh, maybe 700,000 per one. Now, if you now take about 15 of them and you distribute it to those who look at it and you say, Jesus asked me to give you. They have not seen him, but they will believe in him. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but before you give that out, don't you know what I will be speaking? Therefore, this lifting that is coming this season is for Jesus to be lifted. If you have that dream, then he will lift you. Then he will raise you. Then he will lift you. Then he will raise you. Stand to your feet. Your season of lifting has come. Say my season of lifting has come. Say my season of lifting is here. Say my season of lifting is here. Can I prophesy it over you? That your business will prosper. That your career will prosper. This is a new man. Every negative carryover that follow you to this man, let it expire now. Let it expire now. You will not struggle this man. No promise and fail this man. In the name of Jesus. Where you have put your hope, your hope will not dash. You have seen the beginning of the man. You will see the end of the man. No accident, no mishap. I see a list just dropping down. And they said this is the list of promotion. This is the list of promotion. I decree and declare that your name will make the list of promotion. Your name will make the list of promotion. Lift your hands to him and say, Father, thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone be all the glory. Give him thanks. Bless his holy name. Give him thanks. Bless his holy name. Bigger and better blessings. Bigger and better blessings. Bigger and better blessing. 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 Mashata la da baria na gadushara. Eria kabashara. Eria dana da barusha. Ele beriata. Eke to shara bariata. Eke ta shara gadisha. Eke ta na shara. Eporoshada, Eria Catagadeshada, Imparosa, Eria Danashada, Imparriata, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The bigger and better blessing is about to be pronounced upon you because every blessing of God is pronounced, is pronounced, is about to be pronounced. And I pray that you will not miss your portion. It's going to be pronounced two times now and then after the thanksgiving. giving. But just before the pronouncement begins, we wouldn't want anyone to miss out of God's blessing. Everyone under the sound of my voice, 
You need to hand over your life to Jesus to be born again today, to have your sin forgiven and become a child of God, so that this blessing can rest upon your life and be released upon you. I want to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, you will lift up your right hand above your head to signify unto the Lord that I need this blessing. Lift it very well. Lift it right and not the left. Right and not the left. I want to be born again today. I want to become a child of God today. I want to give my life to Jesus. Lift up your right hand above your head and then I'll be ready to pray with you. And if you are lifting it, you step forward to the other altar and let me pray for you. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made and it's your day. The rest of us, this is the way I'm going to pronounce this blessing today because the blessing is laid on the earth. Sometimes the patriarchal blessing, they put their hand on the people. They put their hand on them. So I want you to lift up your right hand and place it on your head as I pronounce this blessing this morning. Those that want to surrender their life, you want to rededicate your life, you come forward. And then as I'm praying, see yourself wearing that blessing like a garment. See yourself wearing it like a garment. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare over you today that the blessing of God rest upon your life. Beyond what you have ever carried in your life. Let the blessing rest upon you. Today, struggling to survive, struggling to make it, struggling to get to the top, struggling to be promoted. Let yoke of struggle in your life be broken into peace. Struggling to get job, struggling to get married, Struggling to get ahead. Survivor mentality. Survivor of the Peters. I decree, let it be broken into pieces. From today, without struggle, you will succeed. Without struggle, you will make it. In the name of Jesus, let this blessing rest upon you today. Let this blessing rest upon you today. Let this blessing rest upon you today. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give him a clap offering and please take your seat. It is done already. It is done already. Those of you in the front, lay your right hand on your hand. On your chest, sorry, I mean, not your head. You have been blessed already. Put it on your chest and close your eyes and pray this prayer with me. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you are alive. I believe. You are my savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for you right now. Father, I decree and declare over this, your children, that you cleanse them from all unrighteousness, establish them in salvation, and let all be well with them. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. Congratulations. And God bless you. Please this way. And God bless you. You are welcome. God bless you. Now, we go into our Thanksgiving very briefly. The first section is special Thanksgiving. I have looked at my life. And I see that God has been so good to me in a special way. So beyond my general Thanksgiving, I want to give God thanks. That's number one category. Second category is your birthday month. Third category, wedding anniversary. Fourth category, God, you, you bought something. Car, house, you need God. A uh, pronouncement of blessing upon me. One thing or the other that the Lord has done for you and is special. 
you want to give thanks to the Lord in a special way. You want to give thanks to him in a special way. That's what we are talking about. So you will package your thanksgiving, special thanksgiving seed. You package it. The choir will begin to sing and then you will dance forward and then we will rejoice with you and pray for you. Again, special thanksgiving. What God has done that is special in your life. Wedding anniversary, birthday celebrant and everything that you want to thank God for. It is time and God bless you as we rejoice together. I just want to thank you Lord. I just want to thank you Lord. I just want to thank you Lord. I just want to give you praise. I want to thank you Jesus, I want to give you praise. I want to thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. I want to give you all the thanks. I just want to thank you, Lord. I want to give you praise. Congratulations, my the Lord bless you. 17 years. Any other wedding anniversary? Awesome. Birthday celebrant. October children. Awesome. 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 Oh, I know our brother is going to be 60 this year. Wow. This October. Congratulations, sir. Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Let's celebrate them. Those that are beside them, you can shake hands with them and congratulate them. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And of course, happy birthday to our dear nation, Nigeria. You are not excited. Hear this. Hear this. Let's always learn to bless our nation. 
a small nation started some about 300 years ago but their watch war is God bless America God is even in front of their money and that nation has become a powerful nation on the earth today that you cannot rubbish no matter what is happening you just say God bless America so from now on let's continue to say God bless Nigeria some are still not convinced they are angry with Nigeria Give a clap of praise to Jesus. There is a new day for our nation. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let me pray with the brethren. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for all the special thanksgiver. Whether as individual, as birthday celebrant, as the wedding anniversary. And for whatever reason that anyone is already out. Thanking you in a special way. I ask that you bless this one in a special way. You bless their family in a special way. You bless their new age in a special way. In the name of Jesus. Bless their marriages in a special way. All the bad days celebrant. You will fulfill the number of your days. You will not die young. You will not die poor. In the name of Jesus. The Lord prosper you. The Lord enlarge you. The Lord increase you. The Lord expand you. In the name of Jesus. Your marriage, your family get better by the day. Enlarge blessing. Earlier than expected. Bigger than imagined. In the name of Jesus. Everything that you are rejoicing over. Every landmark achievement. Everything that God has done for you. Let the Lord bless it. Thank you Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Congratulations to all of you. And God bless you. Let's go into our general thanksgiving. Package your seed. You see when we say we give to God. Always check what you are giving to him. Always check. I don't know about anybody else. But I know he's dealing with me. I know he's dealing with me. So it's time for general thanksgiving. For what God has done for you. Your appreciation to your maker. What does God want to you? What does he want to you? Now package your seed. You need assistance of the usher. You can signal to them. And all of us who are going to be dancing. For the space of about two, three, four minutes. At most five minutes. Showing your gratitude to God. Thanksgiving involves three things. Heart of gratitude, lips of praise, and seed of thanksgiving. Those three things, when they are balanced, you see the result as a blessing. It's time for general thanksgiving. Package yourself, package your seed. As soon as you drop it, then you begin to dance. You begin to rejoice. Somebody said, what is dancing? Uncoordinated and coordinated movement. <laughs> Uncoordinated and coordinated movement. Uncoordinated and coordinated movement. So for, for those of you that want to go and write directorship exam or PS, they can ask you any general question and they say, what is dancing? You say, thank God. Pastor Matthew said, it. Você 
Now go ahead and ask under 20 seconds. Bigger and better. The part of the just is as the shining light. It has to shine more and more onto the poverty. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. There is more. 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 Don't limit yourself. There is more. Don't limit yourself. There is more. And don't limit yourself. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you for a wonderful time you have given unto us since Wednesday. 
Three sections, Thursday, two sections, Friday, two sections. We are grateful. What a wonderful time. The deluge of the world, the impartation, the healing, and everything you have done, you are the reason behind the happenings. Please accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, these people have been with me for three days. I will not let them go empty and dead. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, out of this conference, receive answer prayers. In the name of Jesus. By this time next year, October 1st, 2024, you will look back and God has multiplied you several times. 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 Your level has changed several times. Yoke of stagnation is broken now. Yoke of delay is broken now. Yoke of slow motion is broken now. Yoke of struggle is broken now. You are advancing. You are increasing. You are enlarging. You are advancing. You are increasing. You are enlarging. You are advancing. You are increasing. You are enlarging. You will no longer be limited. In blessing, you will no longer be limited. In prosperity, you will no longer be limited. And fire for God, you will no longer be limited. Passion for God, you will no longer be limited. From today, you carry blessing on your head. And it's dangerous. Because anyone that bless you shall be blessed. And if they can't bless you, they better not curse you. Because anyone that curse you now shall be cursed. Anyone that attack you shall be attacked. By this blessing, your life is preserved. Your home is preserved. Your marriage is preserved. Your destiny is preserved. From the first day, begin to receive first class blessing. First class treatment. First class increase. Everything first class. In the name of Jesus. I see people receiving letters of joy. I see people receiving letters of joy. This man, this October. This October, letters of joy. Letters of joy. I see people opening the letter and they are screaming and they are shouting and they are rejoicing. I see people receiving text messages of joy, things of joy. I see sound of celebration in your house and around you. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Is my portion all through this month and all through this year. Say bigger and better blessing. Say bigger and better testimonies. Say bigger and better evidences shall be my portion all through the year. Give him a clap offering. Hallelujah. It is done. And you may please take your seat. I want to first of all congratulate you because you are imparted with bigger and better blessing. And the blessing shall be permanent. I don't know this fellow you've been, your breathing has been suspended. You can't breathe down, you can't breathe up. You struggle with your breathing. The airways is clear right now and that breathing is normalized. Your life will not suddenly end. Let's all quickly listen to this following announcement. Again, happy, happy new month. And happy Independent Day celebration. The blessing of freedom shall rest upon all of us. In the name of Jesus. Good news. Hooray. Next week Sunday is October 8th. And it's our prophetic service and anointing service. With the team. Flourishing finish. Flourishing finish. Flourishing finish. A woman was testifying during the conference 
and testifying about herself and the husband, when God gave this word sometime, flourishing finish, and then they just finished some unit of houses in the city to be given out for rent. Houses, unit of houses. I want to decree over somebody that flourishing finish shall be your portion this season. And she came up with that word again and said, we'll finish it to flourishing finish. Flourishing finish. Get your bottle of oil ready for that next week encounter. Hallelujah. We want to bless the name of the Lord for a wonderful time during the conference this year. It's been a special time with him and it will be a special time in your life in Jesus' name. This is October 1st and based on the commandment and instruction that the Lord has given unto us for this year, that for every month, the number of the month will be the number of the days of fasting. And October is not exempted. And this October, if you are clapping, you can clap better. That's a good one. That means you are a very good student and cooperative. I was expecting a reaction because many people try to prevail upon me. Today is Thanksgiving. We just finished conference. It is, uh, there will be free food. There will be this. He said, in the realm of the spirit, there is no emotion. The spirit don't know emotion. They said, carry sacrifice to junction. One a.m. I have not slept for five days. Mm -mm, they won't listen. The spirit only know instruction. So October 1st to October 10th, we are engaging on fasting and prayer with the team complete testimony. It's not only you're clapping alone, you must join. And I will know if you have eaten. I will just prophesy and say, Mr. So, 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 so. <laughs> Praise God. That's on the light moon. But let's engage. So 5.30 daily by 5.30 uh, today, we'll be here and receive complete testimony. Can I hear a better amen? Tomorrow morning, do you the team that God has given unto us is testimonies. Somebody say testimonies. That's going to be your portion. Give a clap of praise to Jesus. Testimonies. And tomorrow evening, we're going to be seriously giving thanks unto the Lord. I understand there is only day tomorrow. The only day has been declared. Um, if it is true, fine. If not, we're still here. So in the evening by 5 p.m. tomorrow, it's going to be a praise... And the team is victory dance. Somebody say victory dance. That is the dance you will dance all through this month though. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, all the leaders will be meeting on Saturday 7th by 8 a.m. Pastors, the ministers, the HOD and the SONA leaders. And the people with statutory assignment. It's going to be a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Our possibility by 11 a.m. this Wednesday and Man Zion on Thursday, uh, 5th of October. Today is your first time in God's City International Church. I have the responsibility and the honor from God to welcome you to church and to declare priestly and prophetic blessing upon your life. So if today is your first time, can you please be upstanding wherever you are and let's declare God's blessing on you. Today is your first time in God's City International Church. We'd like to welcome you. We'd like to declare you blessed. We'd like to pray for you. Please step forward to the altar and come and let's pray for you. You are welcome. Pick up your personal belonging and step forward and come and God bless you. You are welcome, sir, and God bless you. You are welcome, man. You are welcome from everywhere you are coming from and the Lord bless you. Now, this is God's City International Church. This is the House of Freedom. Deliverance, rescue, restoration and mobile fire remain the mandate that God gave to us. And the Lord has proved this mandate over and over in seven years. And we believe that in your life, the mandate shall be established and proved again in the name of Jesus. Therefore, this is my cancer that you stay planted in the church. You stay hearing the word and taking action to the instruction of the scripture and your life will never be the same again i want to pray for you now i decree and declare over you that the lord bless you the lord make his face to shine upon you 
The Lord increase you in lips and in bands. Every challenge you brought to church has become testimony. Every challenge you left at home, you meet it as testimony. And very soon you stand there to give and share your testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. Will you go with our team and let them receive you to church today? And God bless you. Somebody shall be gone better. Somebody shall be gone better. 2023. My year of Trinity. My year of release. My year of restoration. My year of perfection. These are my portion. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 10 people bigger and better. Uh, hello, just a moment. Hello, I understand. I don't know that there is a package for you as you are going now. Please collect it with joy and God bless you. And uh, please, all the birthday celebrants that just celebrated, I think they have a cake for you here. You can cut the cake. And God bless you. Uh, okay. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, they say it's for toll service. So, in case you get there, they will understand. God bless you. Hallelujah.
We give you all the glory. I appreciate him. We are grateful for the success of Next Levels Conference. Thank you for Power Touch Vigil on Friday. Thank you for the independence of our nation, Nigeria. To you alone be all the glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. If it has not been the Lord who has been on our side, now let GCIC come and say, Father, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lift up your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our maker. To you alone be all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Can you greet five people? Happy New Month, Happy Independence, Nigeria. Welcome to October. Welcome to church. Happy Sunday to you. The Lord bless you. If you have greeted five people, can please take your seat. You are welcome to the month of October. October is the 10th month. And 10 stands for double grace. All through October, you enjoy double grace. In the name of Jesus. And happy independence to Nigerians all over the world. Happy, happy independence to you. In the name of Jesus. It's time for Power Thoughts Daily Devotional. Today is October 1st, 2023. Sunday, 1st October, 2023. Power Thoughts Daily Devotional, page 3. Pray for your country. Pray for your country. Isaiah 66, verse 10 and 11. Isaiah 66, 10 and 11. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations, that ye may make out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. The word of wisdom for today says, when you are truly passionate about your nation, you must be a recipient of the portion of your nation. Your true freedom and complete emancipation is attached to that of your country, especially the country where you originate from and where you live. No matter the influence, no matter the freedom that you enjoy, if your land live, if there's no peace in where you live on your land, you don't have complete peace. I want to pray for somebody today. You will know true peace in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our dear nation, Nigeria. We will know complete peace in this country in the name of Jesus. Say louder, amen. amen. Your true peace and prosperity is attached to the peace of the nation where you originate from and the nation where you reside. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. And seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. From the scriptures that we have read, we saw that people's destiny have to do with the land they live in. For example, the destiny and greatness of Abraham was tied to the country where he was, where he resided. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Also, the marital bliss of Isaac, the son of Abraham, was predicated on the country of his origin. You can see that in Genesis 24, verse 1 to 4. Your business breakthrough, your career breakthrough cannot and will not be divorced from the land where you lived. You can see that in Genesis 26, verse 1 to 2 and verse 12 to 14. The final freedom of Jacob and his settlement in life was tied to the place of his birth. Genesis 30, verse 25. Nehemiah, ordinary call bearer, became the governor because of, because of his passion for his nation. What do we do? Our assignment today says, be passionate about your nation and then pray for your country, pray for your nation always. As we pray today for Nigeria, the Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray for your nation? Can you please be on your feet? Say, Father, we thank you for the exceptional love that you have for Nigeria. To you alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you make everything new for Nigeria in all aspects in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, 
Let this nation and all our citizens enter a new chapter of good things in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you deliver. Say, Father, deliver and rescue Nigeria and Nigerians from the hands of our oppressors in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, say it louder. Say, Father, arise and establish your purpose over Nigeria and let us begin to enjoy the good and blessings of this land in the name of Jesus. Pray it in the Holy Ghost this morning. Pray for your dear nation, Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Let there be peace in this country. No more banditry. No more kidnapping. Makasata bosete yeketi yadigado. Jakosa kata yadagadosha. Iyegedegedegedegedegedosha. Father, put the government of this nation on your shoulder. Iyokosa kata yagado. Let there be peace in Nigeria. Bless all Nigerians, O God. Ayagadagadagadasha. Madebo soto yegedegede. No more scarcity in our land. Shikete kete bozakata kata. Ayaye de bozoto, shiga diga diga dosha. Ayaga daga daga da, makose kete kete, shiga de bozoto. Iyaga da yaga dosha. Let us know true peace in our nation, Nigeria. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let us be deliverance and rescue for Nigeria and all Nigerians in the name of Jesus. You will not true peace. Nigeria will not true peace. No more kidnapping, no more banditry, no more scarcity, no more evil in our land, in the name of Jesus, no more shedding of innocent blood in our country, in the name of Jesus. Father, bless Nigeria and bless all Nigerians. Thank you, our Father. To you alone be all the glory. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Three powerful, amen. 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 And hey, celebrate Jesus as you please take your seat. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's testimony time. Let's appreciate God as I welcome the following brethren for their testimony. Sister Tokumbo and Brother Taiwo Daodu. Let's jam our hands to Jesus as a comfort for their testimony. Sister Tokumbo and Brother Taiwo. Sorry. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor. Um, I want to testify of God's faithfulness and his mercy and grace, divine protection, provision, and um, increase. So I have a little confession, Pastor, please. Don't be annoyed, sir. It was between me and God. So in um, August, I traveled on the 30th of August. Um, before I left, I, I really had nothing in my hand, like no funds and nothing. Uh, so I went to my account and a little dollar and maybe pounds, I don't know, very, very tiny and almost shameful. I took to God and I said, God, please, let me just give this to pastor. You know, so when I give pastor, it's a seed for my holiday. So I came one morning to you and I went to pastor. He already knew I was traveling anyway. So he prayed for me, said, ah, Stato, so when are you traveling? And I told him, he said, nothing lacking, you know, come back with testimonies. Ah, you don't know that, really? <laughs> so, I mean, I, <laughs> and then um, you will not be stranded, yes. And um, so I left. We, surprisingly, you know, God just started blessing me from the day before I left, because I really had nothing in my hand. And somehow, a friend of mine gave me something, and she teased me, I said, Tokumo, as I've given you this money, that's how you will bring it back to me. I just laughed at her. Anyway, so I went, and my mom had given me an envelope. In the envelope, I, I didn't look at it. I didn't know because I had slept, and I got in the car. I saw the envelope in my bag. I didn't want to open it because the driver, I didn't want anybody to be looking at me. I got on the plane. I didn't want to open it so that I would not let the people sitting beside me see what's inside the envelope. Yeah, okay, so 
So anyway, so I got to London and my phone stopped working. I was so, you know, it almost means that I'm stranded, right? But to the glory of God, somebody appeared like an angel. Where are you going to? Blah, blah, blah. And was my rescue out of there? Took me to where I'm going to. Opened the envelope that my mom had given me money. There was a hundred dollars pounds in it that was old money I didn't know. But it was the person I gave to that told me this is old money. He laughed, took it, and even gave me change. That's one. I'm going to call it short because what happened is that everywhere I went, somebody was giving me something. Everywhere I went, somebody was giving me something. I don't even know how to say it. Anyway, it was overflow. I wasn't stranded. At some point, my friends and I missed our flight. But we got on the next flight and they paid for me. I don't know. <laughs> um, till I was leaving the last day, somebody called me. The person, because of the reason I had traveled, said, Tox, I, you know, do you have a, a London account? That's another story anyway. I said, yes. She said, I have something small. Don't be annoyed. On the day I was leaving, somebody sent me something. I, I came back to Nigeria on Sunday the 17th. I was here in church. I didn't even know what they had said, so I went and bought um, handkerchiefs. And so pastor prayed over the handkerchiefs. So that day I went back home because I rushed in and I, you know, with my tiredness, I got home and my daughter, her eye had been aching and watering and red and everything. She kept on, so I, was, I just prayed over her, and, you know, but she kept on. Oh, my, my, I just remember that. Show me the handkerchief that is here. I collected the handkerchief. You are healed in Jesus' name. I know it's in the handkerchief, something, something, something. If I turned back and the girl stopped dropping her eyes, the eyes had turned, huh? and so on and so on. So I just want to thank God for his faithfulness, his grace, his mercy, his favor. There was reconciliation this holiday. I mean, I told Pastor all of it. There's so much more. God has been so good. And I come and I testify yet again that the same God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above my asking or imagination will do the same for you and for every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Give Jesus Christ a clap of and congratulation, the testimony permanent and multiply in Jesus' name. I hope you had some things there. <laughs> um, my name is Mr. Taiwo. Earlier of last week Sunday, uh, I ran into hand of bad boys. So they now ask me as to bring whatever I have in pocket. She has to bring me. I told that I don't have money. They now search me. They find phone. It's a small phone. They now say I should bring the phone. They now collect the phone. They say I should log into my to my account. So I told her that there's no money there. The alert you are seeing is the withdrawal alert. And the other one say. As he shook me knife. I now need and now beg that they all could die young Kuri. Because I heard that language. That is why they didn't shake me that night. So I thank God for the safe where God has saved me. And the second one is that uh, I insist on God for my wife. Suddenly there that God intervened. If you are not God, I will not know what I will say by now. But I thank God for our victory. God has made him to survive it. I thank God. And I thank God for my, our father in the Lord. Help me to pay out of my school fees of my children. Give Jesus Christ a I clap offering. God. Father, we thank you for the multiple testimony. We bless your holy name. We lift you up. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Hallelujah. It's offering time. Let's package our offering, your tithes, your seed, and everything you have come to bless the Lord with. For those of us that are doing electronic transfer, the details is displayed on the screen. You need the assistance of the usher, just wave your hand, they will locate you for envelope. We have done that, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We lift you higher for another opportunity to offer unto you. We count it as a great privilege. We ask, O oh God, that you accept us and accept our offering and in return bless us abundantly in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Why, please? Oh, bless the name of the Lord for His good works. His way. Thank you, Jesus. You are good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel free to join us this morning. It says, Supernatural Baba, depend upon Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Supernatural Baba, reliable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. I do it again. Supernatural Baba, depend upon Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Yeah, yeah. Supernatural Baba, reliable Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Lips to my supernatural boss. Jehovah Most High. Now you be the original God. Can you say to the supernatural boss? Yes, Jesus. Now you, you be the original God. One more time, say supernatural boss. Come on. Come on. Say it like you've been this morning. Come on. Oh, oh, oh supernatural. Yes, Jesus. Lord, I bring you sacrifice of praise. Give you all I say. I told you to love. There is nothing difficult for you. Kilo le se, atso pitu lo, I bring you, Lord I bring you sacrifice of praise. Kilo le se, atso, atso pitu lo. There is nothing difficult for you. Kilo le se. Sing it one more time. Lord, I bring you love. Yeah, yeah. Kilo le se, atso bitu lo. There is nothing other. There is nothing too difficult for you. Kilo le se, atso bitu lo. Just supernatural, supernatural, supernatural. The power of God. Jehovah Most High, now you be the original. Can you say like you mean this? This is my life, my life. Hey, 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 Come on, come on, come on. For everything you have done, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. He never said, I told you to love.
Blessing to arrive in your house. He will shake the nations. He will shake parastatus. He will shake individual. He will shake organization. He will shake institution. And suddenly your testimony will arrive. Suddenly your lifting will arrive. Suddenly your increase will arrive. Lift up your voice, say the shaker of the heavens. Shake the shaker of the heaven. Say, my father, you are the shaker of the heaven. You are the shaker of the head. You are my advocate. Say, Father, shake everywhere. Shake the nations. Shake institution. Shake individual. Let my blessing that is bigger, that is better, be delivered to me in the name of Jesus. Let my portion be delivered to me. Anything you need to shake this man, shake it, shake it. I must not remain at the same level. I must not remain at the same level. Anything, anyone, anywhere. You need to shake. Father, shake it this month. I will not be on the same level. I will not be the same person. There is a shaking going on. In case you are not aware, there is a shaking going on. 
there is a shaking going on. It's shaking in the nation. It's shaking in the organization. There is a shaking that is going on. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now I decree and declare that this day and this week for your sake, God will shake everywhere. For the sake of your family, God will shake everywhere. Right from this day, your life will never be at the same level. This is 10th month. God is not slow concerning what he has told you since January. Therefore, from today, there shall be manifestation. 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 There will be movement this week. That movement will be for your lifting. Anyone that need to be a blessing to you, no matter where they are on the nation of the head, this week they will move towards you. Not next week. It is this week you will meet the right person. The right business partner. The right life partner. The life person. The right person. The right person. The right person. The right organization. That appointment is coming in this week. That promotion is coming in this week. That lifting is coming in this week. Thank you, Father. What they meant for evil for you, God has changed it to good. God has changed it to good. God has changed it to good. Thank you, our Father. We bless and honor your name. Forever we shall praise you. Breathe upon your word. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody said bigger and better. Somebody shout bigger and better. Somebody shout bigger and better. Shall be my testimony. Can you demonstrate it bigger and better? Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. A bigger house. A bigger mobility. A bigger car, a bigger office, a bigger every good thing. In the name of Jesus, say I receive it, say I embrace it, say it is mine, say I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise and please be seated. Hallelujah. You are welcome to church today and congratulations that you made it into the month of October. Good news. This is your October. You have celebrated many October, but this particular one is your own. Say this one is my own. No? Tell your neighbor, you can wait for your own, but this one is my own. This one is my own. The Lord has given us a prophetic word today. Bigger and better blessing. Bigger and blessing. And better blessing. Today's a special day is the grand finale of our next level conference, an annual event whereby God has given us a word destined for enlargement. Let's get to know as we start that there is no ceiling on our head. There is no benchmark on our lives. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, he said the part of the just is as the shining light. is shining more and more unto the perfect day. So there is no ceiling or benchmark on our head. It is individual that place a stoppage on their progress. We are not expected to be delayed, stagnated, and experience slow motion. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. He said, God is not slow 
concerning his promise. God is not slow. This is September. It's not slow. But good news, he reserved the best for the last. So the best of this man, you begin to taste it from this moment. In the name of Jesus. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. The Bible says, we all, we what? All. There is nobody that is expected to be left behind. Don't say they are the ones that are moving forward. You should be among those that are moving forward too. Because he said, we all, in God's glory, there is no one that is to be exempted. All of us are children of God. We have equal rights with God. Why are some better than the other? And we know God is not a racist. We know God does not discriminate. He said, we are with an open faith. If you know what you have, you have nobody to envy. I repeat, if you know what you have in redemption, you have nobody to envy. And it's even worse when a believer will be envying unbeliever. You don't know how awkward that is? No. No. But we all, but the challenge is that with an open face, when your face is close and there is a veil, you may be a saint, you will look like a sinner. When you are a saint and you have the result of a sinner, it's because your face is close. We all provided, all of us to cease. We all with an open face, beholding in a mirror. That mirror is the word of God. Look, it is as far as you can see in the Bible. That's what determines your limit. Hello? The Bible, anybody can open the Bible, but the Bible does not open to everybody. It doesn't. We are with an open way in a mirror. Anything written in the Bible is written for your taking. We all with an open face. That's where the challenge is. Our face must be open to see the revelation of the world. For example, you can only be promoted and change level by your level of revelation. Galatians chapter 2 verse 2. Galatians chapter 2 verse 2. But we all with an open face. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 2, he said, I went up by revelation. You don't go down when your eyes is open. I went up by revelation. For example, somebody having a challenge in marriage, all you need to do is to see the revelation. Just to see the revelation, there is no need for crisis there. No need. Somebody say, can two people live together and they will not step on each other's toe? It depends. Because I believe you are seated with somebody now. Why are you not see, uh, stepping on his, on his or her toe? Both of you are seated in the church now. And thank God it's not COVID distant. They are not distancing. Now, why are you not stepping on each other's toe? Two reasons. Number one, you are not wicked. Because if anybody is looking, no matter how distant it is, you can carry your leg. There are people who look for fight in their own marriage. Number two, because you are not blind. Because even if you step on somebody's store as you are sitting now, the first question you will ask, oh God, even though we are enjoying, so do you funny? Are you blind? You are not blind. As long as we can see we can take our portion. Before marriage, I ran away from it. It was, I ran away from it. And then when I got the revelation, I said no one will settle quarry in this marriage. This is over 16 years. My mother-in-law lived with us till he passed. He doesn't have the occasion. Because I know what to do. I know my life. And even if there is any challenge, I'm sorry, it's not far from my mouth. Okay, after I'm sorry, will you kill me? 
I'm sorry. I, some of us say sorry, but that sorry, you say sorry. Sorry for what? Who is sorry? I am. But when a man will be too big to know in my village, they don't say I'm sorry. Now, those people you are copying your village, they have divorced 10 times. You are still copying them. Huh? Oh, a man, man, no be man. I am sorry. Now, that you say I am sorry does not mean you are wrong. It only means you are better and smarter. You are better and smarter. Someone that, now, that revel, I'm just giving you an example of revelation. I'm not doing marriage seminar. Thanksgiving and blessing is what we are doing. I'm just giving you an Why I enjoy peace in my home. Yes, I can come out as a senior pastor, but I'm sorry it's not far from my mouth. After you say, oh, London. I am sorry. Kobata, I don't worry. Case closed. Case closed. And I enjoy my life because I don't want to fight outside and still fight inside. One may not live long like that. And you can leave your destiny on a fight mode. I want to enjoy my life. I treasure my peace more than anything. Hear this. From today, God will give you peace. Peace and tranquility. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? But we all, nobody is left behind. But we all, behold us in the glass. Now look at our destiny. We are chained. We are what? We are chained. We are metamorphosed. Why with the same version of you still be the same version of you? That you were in 2013 and it's still the same version in 2023. We are changed when there are no changes, it's because the book is closed. We are changed from one level of glory to another level of glory. We only change level by what we know. Did you hear me? We only change level by what we know. We only change level by what we know. We only change level by what we know. Some of my sons, daughters, some of my people, when the church started, some of their children gained admission to university. And after about two, two years ago now, they begin to come, oh, that is the boy you pray for. And then I look at the boy I pray for, then... Some of them have become lawyers. Some of them, um, some are finishing rounding up the America, whatever. And we're already calling them doctor. The one that is lawyer, I still look, he's the same boy I pray for. Now he's a barista. Now he's saying some language that me that I pray, I don't understand again. The boy has not really changed. But what has changed? His mind has changed. It is his mind is now making us to call him barista. I didn't know the time has gone like that until some of those boys are coming back from school. I said, Barista, so, so, so. They are just finished in the law school. I said, Junior, she, uh, I pray for him in women's center. We are in, uh, what's the center of this one? <laughs> he has become a barista. The same boy, what has changed? They pass him through some things under five years, and that has changed him. Hear this. It is what we, you know that will change your level. Is what you know that will change your level. And hear this. Your yesterday we always want to fight your today. So, he said, remember ye not the former thing. Neither consider the things of all. We all, we are changed. I decree and declare, everyone under the sound of my voice, this day you will change level. Everything will change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what are the destiny that God has for us? He said, bigger and better. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding hmm, abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Hear this. 
beyond the level where you are now, God want to enlarge you. Beyond it. You can't have one kiosk 10 years ago and it's still one kiosk. No. What enlarges people is called God's blessing. What enlarges people is called God's blessing. And that's what this generation is lacking. People boast about their skills, about this, about that. The Bible said the race is not to the sweet. Neither the bread to the men of understanding. The riches is not to those people that you think. It's about time and chance. Happen to them. The blessing of the Lord is what enlarges anything. Let's take, for example, from the creation. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28. The Bible said, God said, let us make man in our own image. And then in verse 28, for time's sake, the Bible said, God did something. The first thing he did to man when he saw him was that he blessed him. Now, what is the byproduct of the blessing? He blessed him. And God said to them, now take note of that. Every genuine blessing is done by proclamation. Question, who is speaking over your life? Proclamation, proclamation. Blessing is done by proclamation. Now what did he say? He said, be fruitful. When blessing is in place and is effective, there will be fruitfulness and productivity. So that's the first byproduct of the blessing. There will be fruitfulness and productivity. Don't be distracted. Because you know you will only change level by what you know. What you show is what you know. What you show is what you know. So by product, fruitfulness and productivity. Hear this. In the name that is above every other name. From today you shall be fruitful. So, if anybody tells you that he's blessed, find out. Are you productive? Productivity. Productivity. Psalm 1 verse 3. He said, whatsoever he does shall prosper. That's productivity. Now, that productivity can be spread across every area of life. Number one, productivity spiritually. First John chapter 1. Verse 3, for John 3, or third John 3, third John 3. He said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be even as thy soul prospereth. Hear this. If your spiritual prosperity does not, if your physical prosperity is above your spiritual prosperity, you may crash. When, 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 when blessing is beyond capacity, it will crash. When a pillar that is carrying something, what the pillar is carrying is bigger than what is carrying it. It may crash. So, the spiritual productivity first, you can combine integrity with prosperity. You can combine money with manners. God is the richest and is the holiest. God is the richest and is the holiest. The undoing of our society is elevation of corruption in high places. So you can combine it. So you must be productive in your spiritual life. Number two, in your health. Uh, WHO will tell you health is wealth. Health is wealth. There are people today, they are under 40 and they are looking 80. Health is wealth. When God blesses you, it must show in your health. It must show. You live a healthy life. A healthy life is a worthy life, sir. A healthy life is a worthy life. I wish above all things that thou mayest brother and be in health. When health is in question, then wealth has no value. When health is in question, please take care of your health. Hear this. Whenever your spirit is no longer comfortable with your head. When your, 
when your body cannot hold your spirit, it departs. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't matter how much you have. I was watching the documentary of the last appearance of Steve Job. And he was telling you, emancipated, yes, so much billion was available. Do everything to protect you. But hear this. There is nothing that can sustain your blessing like God's blessing. Your body like God's blessing. Like God's blessing. When you are blessed, you are healthy. Healing happens naturally. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. He said he took the infirmity. He took the infirmity. Isaiah 38 from verse 1 to 10. Isaiah 38 from verse 1 to 10. The king, Ezekiah, they said you are going to die and he was sick. He said, God, remember my work in your house. I'm not ready to die now. God said, take 15 years more. May God give you health. May God give you health. May God give you health. May the Lord give you health. Number three, to match your health, productivity in resources. In resources. How much did you watch what last year? How much is your worth now? What? Life may be hard when resources is not available. Thank God for your speaking in tongues. Thank God for your health. But you need wealth. The Bible said the poor is a servant to the rich. The easiest way to be a servant is to be poor. The Bible said, the rich ruleth over the poor. So, do get the blessing of God. You know, people thought that it's by human ways or gimmicks that you can prosper. I've told you, there are three ways to success anywhere. Number one, is either all black. Number two, is either all gimmick which you will be discovered later. And when they discover you, the shame will be worth more than anything. And all black, that's going to the devil. That one, he will, he will give you something, but he will take your soul. And the end will be worse than the beginning. Then there is all white. The riches. No corruption. It's direct from God. And that one, it lasts forever. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Verse 14, for whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. There were people who they were saying they were rich in those days. Nobody knows their name again today. But when God lifts you, you remain lifted. Even after you are passed on to glory. If your making is of man, the breaking can be of man. Please go all white with God. Riches is available for him. You see what he said? Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. He said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to get what? That giveth the power to get what? One of us still sending a testimony of reason from New York. She worked uh, one of the forces in the nation. And she said, the day she joined, because I just look at the life of this lady, she became the first female in the history of our country to reach a particular position. And she said, sir, the day I joined that particular organization, I told God how I will be, get to the top and become rich without bringing shame to you. You, you. you will do it for me. And I tell you, God did it for her. So much in resources. So much in resources. We are doing conference, this conference. That, it's, oh, that I heard that conference is going on. This is... So, so, so. God did it for her. Did it for her. She retired or something with the forces at the age of 50 something. And then United Nations took her up doing powerful things in New York now. I want to decree over somebody. Resources. This October, it will answer to you. Amen. Number four, that you must be productive is you must be productive in relationship. Man is a relational being. That's why when COVID came, many people died because they couldn't talk to people. One of us told me, the son, 
their, their son schooling abroad. The boy said he got to a time that he, there was, because it was even a little bit stricter outside there in the Western world. You know, based on our nature, to really distance here, it will take a lot. Thank God for those of you that live in the city. But when you are saying uh, distant, distant, in Karimun, they don't know distance. One man village, there is no, because there is no way to distance. You, everything is inside. Everything. I remember we went, I went for evangelism, one of those places, sometime. As I enter somewhere, somebody said, you are entering my sitting room. I said, I thought it's a road. <laughs> I said, I thought it's a road. He said, it's my sitting room. There was no distance anywhere. Man is a relational being. You must be productive in relationship. You must be productive. Hear this. What you can survive is as a result of who surround you. Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. The Bible said the friends of the paralytic man, they carry him. What you will survive in life. Do you have people that can carry you? Number two question. Do you have people who can break roof for you? When anything happens, that can break roof for you. Relationship. Relationship. One of the undoing of the man we mentioned, his name that was in billion before he died, before he left, he said, because of what? He didn't have time for family. He didn't have time for this. He didn't have time. He didn't build relationship. Just alone. Just alone. The power of relationship. Do you know that there are relationships that can take you from where you are to where you need to be? But in selecting relationship, you have to be careful. Relationship, there are about two or three categories. Number one, there is a destiny one. They are there for life with you. They are root relationship. They are there for you. Then there is leaves relationship. It's for a while. It's seasonal. Leaves will soon go off. You must know the purpose of that relationship and take advantage of it in the meantime because the leaves will soon go off. If it leaves you, it's because it's a leaf. But they are so root. Don't worry, the tree is still standing. Therefore, I want to decree over you that from today you will be fruitful in relationship. When Jesus was tired, as powerful, anointed as he was on the cross, carrying cross to the Golgotha, do you know that it was relationship that came and helped him carry the cross? And helped him carry the cross. If he had died on the road, we would not be safe because he must die on the tree. Not die on the tree. The relationship. And some of us, some of the relationship we have ignore. There may be destiny relationship. Watch out. But if it leaves you, then maybe it's not meant for you. Therefore, I want to pray for you that in the name of Jesus, you will be productive in relationship. But hear this. Beyond any relationship, don't let your relation, nothing tamper with your relationship with God. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? No matter who is present, when God is absent, life has no meaning. You know why? Because even in your in darkness, do you know that even your shadow will leave you? You have not noticed it. In darkness. But here is this God. Psalm 23 verse 4. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Say, God is with me. Say, God is with me. Now, what is the secret of the blessing? I mentioned three things, and then we get into Thanksgiving. Are you blessed this morning? Are you blessed this morning? Are you blessed this morning? I don't know who this fellow is. The Lord is taking you from where you are to where you need to be. And that will happen this October. That will happen this October. The Lord asked me to tell somebody, every October, you always suffer three afflictions. 
The Lord said, you should take it from him that this particular one, you will not suffer a single one. And that yoke is broken forever. How do we get into the bigger and better blessing? Number one, heart of thanksgiving. Appreciation is an application for more. What you thank God for will definitely increase. Appreciation is an application for more. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing. But in all things, let your request be made known unto God. As you thank God for small, God enlarges it. People don't know that. Until you thank God for the last, you are not entitled to the next. Until you thank God for the last, you are not entitled to the next. And many of us can associate with that. There are many people in your life, whenever you see their text message, you know they want to ask for something. But before that time, there, there, there was no... And the last one you sent to them, he didn't even say thank you. There are people who have closed the door against their life because they lack gratitude. They lack gratitude. So, appreciation. Um, I've said it before. Genuine appreciation must be mentioned. Don't just say, I thank God, I thank God, I thank God. Mm -mm. Psalm 103, verse 3 to 5. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. Give us from verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefit. One day, some years back, when God talked to me about this, I sat down and I wrote 22 times that God delivered me from death. I'm not saying you slept and they said you that mm -mm, 22 times. Some at gunpoint. Some in the midst of an accident. The steering was rolling. Everything that I represent in this world was inside that car. My wife was there. My children were there. My mother-in-law, Lori Bukuni Satani. My mother-in-law was inside. And the steering was turning. The car was skidding. And my wife saying, Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. As the car said, relax. Don't confuse God. Because he was saying, Jesus name. I said, no. The Bible said, I they mention the name of Jesus, not Jesus is. No, 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 no. I they mention the name of Jesus because by the time you are saying Jesus name, Jesus name, you are jacking the car more. <laughs> so, I the mention of Jesus name. So, in the name of Jesus, then you, he stops kidding. Stop skidding. And so I wrote down, Lord, I thank you for this. I will have gone several times. I will have gone several times. There were several deaths you will have died that you didn't die. Before you talk of the nest, talk of the one he has done. That's what made God to work. Number two. You want to be blessed is obedience and complete obedience. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 13. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, then I will pour this blessing on you. What do you obey? John chapter 15, verse 16. Obey, reaching out, evangelism, bringing people to God. Obey, reaching out. Evangelism. What do you obey? Obey prayer. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Ask, it shall be given. Obey. Obedient. What do you obey? Obey giving. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Obey. You want to be blessed? Find something to obey. Until you obey the master, you are not a candidate for his blessing. And finally, you want to be blessed. Obey kingdom service. Kingdom service. What am I doing to contribute to global evangelism? That's what they call kingdom service. What am I doing to contribute to global evangelism? I've watched the life of people that God lived. They are not ashamed to present their God even in the marketplace. I'm telling you, 
And our testimony I'll be sharing with you in the later days is not for now. There are people God is lifting in a major way. And when I look, I look, I look, I say, look, this is why God is lifting this man. He's never ashamed to present Jesus. Said, this is where I belong. I mean, we're talking of multi-billions in dollars. And then, just presenting Jesus. If you will not be ashamed of Jesus when he enlarges you, he will not have any challenge to lift you up. Therefore, I decree, beyond what you have ever seen in your life, starting from this morning, God will enlarge you. Are you ready? Stand to your feet. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better for him. He deserves it. He deserves it. And he deserves it. And he deserves it. Will you lift up your two hands to Jesus, our Father in heaven, and say, My Father, I thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone, behold the glory. Go ahead and give him all the thanks and bless his holy name. Give him all the thanks and bless his holy name. Give him all the thanks and bless his holy name. Thank you, our Father. We are grateful. We are grateful. And we are grateful for your world. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, before the blessing will be pronounced, everyone under the sound of my voice, you want to say, Pastor, I've heard the word of God. And I need bigger and better blessing. I know where I am now. It's not my last bus stop. God wants to make me bigger. But the way to that blessing is for you to hand over your life to Jesus. It's for you to surrender your life to Jesus. It's for you to be born again. It's for you to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. And someone somewhere is there this morning. I want to say, Pastor, I want to hand over my life to Jesus. I want to be born again today. I want to enter into the kingdom. I want to receive this bigger and better blessing. Wherever you are in the hall and under the sound of my voice, I want to pray for you right now. Will you please lift up your right hand above your head and let me pray with you right now to do that. God bless you. God bless you. Lift it very well above your head and come and let me pray for you. Come. Let me pray for you. Come. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Come. Come quickly. Come quickly. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Come. I want to be born again today. I want to be saved today. I want to surrender to Jesus Christ. I want to receive him as my Lord and Savior. I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow Jesus. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of faking it. Those who fake it cannot make it. Lord, I follow Jesus. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? You claim to have surrendered to Jesus, but you are bound with tobacco, smoking, drinking, and all kind. Quickly, join us in the front, and I'll be ready to pray with you. And God bless you. And God bless you. God bless those that are clapping. We are doing it together. That's the kingdom heart. We're doing it together. Those that want to rededicate their heart, you can join us in the front and God bless you. People, you can take your seat while I pray for this one. Thank you, Father. Somebody with an affliction on the chest, pain and inability to breathe very well, the Lord has healed you right now in the name of Jesus. Those of you in the front, lay your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer with me. Say it with all your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my names in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Let me pray for you right now. Father, I just want to thank you for this. Your children, you have brought to yourself. I ask that you cleanse them from all unrighteousness. Establish them in salvation. And please, Lord, let all be well with them. Thank you, Father. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations because your life has changed. Please this way and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, it's time for our Thanksgiving. And it's going to be in two categories. It's time for our Thanksgiving. And it's going to be in two categories. The first category. Please, no distraction, please. The first category is going to be for special thanksgiver. You have looked at your life. The dealings of God with your life this year has been exceptionally miraculous. You saw that you owe God special thanks beyond general thanks. Number two, it's your birthday month. Number three, wedding anniversary. Number four, one thing or the other that God help you to acquire or to get and you want to give him thanks for it giving him thanks and every other thing that you have counted as special to you you want to give him thanks what do you need to do get ready with your heart to give thanks to God number two get ready to sing and to dance number three package your special thanksgiving seed when you call it special, make it special. Don't just generalize it. This is my special Thanksgiving seed. Sometimes people will say, oh, this is special. And God will say, am I the one you are calling this special to? No, 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 no. There are things if I give God today and I call it offering, God will say, Matthew, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. So very important, package your special Thanksgiving seed and get ready with the art and the action of gratitude. You need assistance of the ushers, you can signal to them. As the choir begin to sing, for everyone that needs special, uh, that is doing special Thanksgiving, you will dance out to the altar. We will rejoice with you and we will pray over it. God is good. He has done me well, oh my son. God is up and praise the Lord. Yeah. Oh my son, God is up. God is good. He has done me well, oh my son. God is up and praise the Lord. Yeah. Oh my son, God is up and praise the Lord. Oh my son, God is up and praise the Lord. Oh my soul, worry up and praise the Lord. So, 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 so,
the house. Doctor, how are you? <laughs> Wedding anniversary. How many years? Five years. That's grace. Grace has entered your family. Who are these people dressed in uniform? <laughs> Mama? 44. I want my money here. <laughs> Did you say 34? Eh? 4 4. Uh -uh. Okay. I better tell all my youth. You better pray very well. Before you will say you see vision. When someone is in 44. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, man. We celebrate. Wow. 44. 44. 44. Wedding. Any other wedding anniversary? Wow. Greet us. Greet us. They say they are beautiful in their dress. Greet us. What is the greet us celebrating? Anniversary. Wow. 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 Awesome. Awesome. I love you. Birthday celebrant. October children. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. For our nation. of it from now on. Every time they mention Nigeria, let's bless this nation. One of the things that have helped the nation of America, United States of America, especially the, the North America, is that you will see, they will say, God bless America. So three times, can you lift your hands and make a fist and declare, God bless Nigeria. Okay. God bless Nigeria. For the last time, God bless Nigeria. Give a clap of praise to Jesus and please be seated. So let's pray for the special thanksgiver. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for the life of all the special thanksgiver. Lord, we ask that you shower your blessing upon them. You will shower your favor upon them. They have taught it wise to give a special thanks on a special day like this. Oh God, expand their blessing. Enlarge their coast. All the bad days celebrant, you will fulfill the number of your days. You will not die young. In the name of Jesus, you will fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus, all the wedding anniversary celebrant, your home will not scatter. Your, the wine will be renewed and become fresh every day in the name of Jesus. For all of you, God continue to give you special blessing, special favor, special increase, special enlargement. So shall it be, for it is done. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations to you all. 
and God bless you. Hallelujah. Now it's time for general thanksgiving. Let's get ready. Prepare your heart. Begin to think of what God has done for you and do it in a special way. Number two, package your special Thanksgiving seed, whether uh, in a physical form or you need assistance of the usher or you need to look on the screen. Lord, have a look at my life. This is the tenth month. You have done so much for me and I value you so much. This is the value I place on you. Let's package our seed. Let's get ready for general Thanksgiving. I'm giving thanks for what God has done for me. The choir will begin to sing. The all shots will come around you. As soon as you drop your seed, then you stand up to begin to dance and give God praise. Come on, come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my souls and now I'm free. You say, come on, and I'm able, hallelujah. Because of Jesus, so we remain our souls. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you the See what the Lord has done to us. He is taking away my souls and all of to God, Lord, I thank you 
you gave me yam, boil yam, and you hydrated palm oil to it. I thank you for it. You will see that the next one, uh, if we had omelet, not palm oil now, because you have tango. Number two thing you are going to do for me before I pronounce this blessing is to ask God for three things. Number one, what must happen this month? Number two, what must be completed before the end of the year? And number three, that by this time, 2024, October 1st, this is the level I want to be. The first Sunday of 2024, I want... I, this is the level I must have found myself. Can you do that in one minute? Can you do that in one minute? Ah, God answer prayer here. Oh. Glory, okay. He answer prayer here. He answer prayer here. He answer prayer here. Just follow that instruction. Just follow that prophetic instruction. Just follow that prophetic instruction. He answer prayer. I thank you for what you have done. For the level I am. But I know I am not limited there. I'm not limited there. I'm not limited there. I'm not limited there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name will pray you may stretch forth your hands and position your heart the scripture says he performed the counsel of his messenger it's not anything about them it's because he sent them so he honors their word so for every pronouncement there shall be manifestation therefore in the name of Jesus Christ Every yoke of delay, stagnation, and slow motion in your life is broken into pieces. Is broken into pieces. Is broken into pieces. Whatever has tampered with your peace, tranquility, and serenity in the past, let it be that today that thing is broken in the name of Jesus. Beyond any other thing you may have, peace is important. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, let the God of peace give you peace by all means. Let the God of peace give you peace by all means. 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 The storm is over. Amen. This month of October, what God will do for you will be more than what you have gotten in 30 years. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Between now and December, everything that God needs to complete for you shall be completed Amen. there shall be no more abandoned projects Amen. number three between now and october next year god will do so much for you that you will look back you yourself will say god is too much Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. and finally bigger and better blessing Bigger and better blessing. Bigger and better blessing. God take you further than your leg can carry you. God take you beyond the boundaries. Every benchmark and limitation, you will surpass it this season. You will break records. In the name of Jesus, you will excel in all that you do. 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 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All through the month of October, you will not shed bitter tears. Parents, you will not bury your children. Wives, you will not bury your husband. Husband, you will not bury your wives. And every one of you, you will not be buried. In the name of Jesus Christ. If they are distributing sorrow for free this month, it won't get to your house. It won't get to your family. In the name of Jesus, all your prayer requests are answered by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say it is mine. Say I will testify. Can you shout it three times? I receive it. I embrace it. It is mine. And I will testify. I receive it. I embrace it. It is mine. And I will testify. Give to you. Receive it. I embrace it. It is mine. And I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Hallelujah. And please be seated. Congratulations. I congratulate you because bigger and better blessing become your portion from today. In the name of Jesus, you rise in glory. You rise in honor. The Lord beautify you. And all his promises for your life shall come to pass this month. In the name of Jesus. Good news. I have a prophetic word from the Lord for you for next week's Sunday service. It is called, this is the first time we are treating this. Flourishing finish. Flourishing finish. Flourishing finish. A woman was testifying during our conference. Uh, Serve and her husband. How God put off some unit of houses for them. And she used the word. Of course, that word came as a prophetic word sometime. She used the word flourishing finish. Someone is here today. Hmm. This season, God will take you to flourishing finish. You know, there are all types of houses. Some people will tell you, I finished my house. And when you get there, uh, the doors are not there. They just use home clothes. It's still, it's still the landlord. And there are some people, they finish the house, but the furniture are not there. Or they brought the old furniture of the former place to there. It has not finished. Everything has to be new. I want to decree over you that what God is going to do for you this season, it shall be flourishing finish. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to complete your testimony. So prepare yourself to encounter God in, a, in an unusual and uncommon way. This coming Sunday, come with a bottle of oil because it's going to be our anointing service. Another good news is here. You know what I want to talk about? Do you know what I want to talk about? Or Kunku and his wife will tell you. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they know. Uh, good news. Great news. Joyful news. So from today, we have started our 10 days prayer and fasting. You are not clapping. We, I mean, <laughs> so and, um, the, the team is complete testimonies. God is giving you complete testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. I understand some of you have eaten today. God have mercy on you. <laughs> so by 5.30 p.m., I will be meeting daily is for 10 days complete testimony from tomorrow morning at the morning deal the team is testimony somebody's your name will change to testimony this week 6 a.m to 7 30 a.m is the time you can be on ground and you can watch online on the social uh platform the service will be available there next week saturday by 8 a.m the leaders will be meeting uh, for an important meeting Pastors, the minister, HOD, Zona leaders, 
uh, the people saddled with statutory duties uh, will be meeting tomorrow evening. I'm already excited about tomorrow. I'm already excited, heavily excited. God said, fig tree dance, fig tree dance, fig tree dance. It's going to be power, healing, and deliverance service. We're going to be having a special uh, dance and thanksgiving unto the Almighty God for what he has done for 10 months. On Wednesday, our possibility by 11 a.m., it is our launch our fellowship at Mount Zion on Thursday by 5.30. Today is your first time in God City International Church. I have the privilege, the honor, uh, given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the apostle of the church, to declare priestly and prophetic blessing upon your life. Today is your first time in God City International Church. I want to welcome you to church and also declare God's blessing upon your life. So wherever you are seated in the house, can you please be upstanding and let's pray for you. Today is your first time in God City International Church. Please be upstanding. God bless you. God bless you. Please be upstanding. 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 God bless you. God bless you. We appreciate all of you and God bless you. Now, you can come forward except the people that came with our brother for the uh, special Thanksgiving on birthday. Uh, those ones can be seated. We all know you. We're going to welcome you in the service and call you forward in the third service. Um, so, but every other person, today is your first time in God City International Church. Will you please come forward and pick all that you brought to church? Can we celebrate them? And please appreciate them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. You are welcome to church and God bless you. The Lord do you good. The Lord prosper you. The Lord answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. This is God City International Church. It's a place of deliverance. It's a place of rescue, restoration, and mobile fire. Your life will never be the same again. Can I pray for you? Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that you are brought. I ask that you bless them. Let every challenge they brought to church become testimonies. And let your name be glorified in their lives. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Once again, you are welcome. Get established in God City International Church and watch God transform your life from glory to glory. Please this way and let's welcome you. We have the team to welcome you. God bless you. God bless you. Please help celebrate them and God bless you. And God bless you. Your own blessings shall be the biggest in the name of Jesus. 2023 my year of trinity my year of release my year of restoration my year of perfection these are my portions amen hallelujah tell 10 people bigger and better blessings
Today is our Thanksgiving and Blessing Sunday, and today is the grand finale of our Next Levels Conference 2023. It's time for Power Thoughts Daily Devotional. Today is Sunday, 1st October 2023. Power Thoughts Daily Devotional for the month of October is beautifully packaged to be a blessing to you. Make sure you get yours from the ushers. Buy for every member of your family and buy some for evangelism. The Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Page 3. Pray for your country. It's today's topic. Pray for your country. Isaiah 66, verse 10 to 11. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of our consolations, that ye may meek out and be delighted with the abundance of our glory. The word of wisdom for today says, when you are truly passionate about your nation, you must be a recipient of the portion of that nation. Your true freedom and complete emancipation 
is attached to the to that of the country where you originate from and where you live. No matter the freedom and influence that you enjoy, if the land you live in is not in peace, then your peace is not complete. I pray for everyone that your peace shall be complete in Jesus' name. We pray for our nation, Nigeria, that our peace shall be complete in Jesus' name. Your true peace and prosperity is attached to the peace of the nation where you originate from and the nation where you reside. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Jeremiah 29 and verse 7. And seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captives. And pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. From the scriptures that we have read, we saw that people's destiny have to do with the land that they live in. For example, the destiny and greatness of Abraham was tied to the country where he resides. You can see that in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to verse 4. The marital bliss of Isaac, the son of Abraham, was predicated on the country of his origin. Genesis 24, verse 1 to 4. Your business breakthrough, your career breakthrough, is also tied to the country where you lived. For example, the business breakthrough of Isaac cannot be divorced from the land where he lived. Genesis 26, verse 1 to 2, and verse 12 to 14. The final freedom of Jacob and his settlement in life was tied to the place of his birth. Genesis 30, verse 25. Nehemiah, ordinary called bearer, became the governor because of his passion for his nation. Our assignment today says, be passionate about your nation and then pray for your nation always. It's time for us to pray for our nation. Can we please be on our feet as we pray for Nigeria? Say, Father, we thank you for the exceptional love that you have for Nigeria. To you alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Prayer number six. Say, Father. Prayer number six. Say, Father, we make a demand that you put the government of this nation in your shoulder in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, give Nigeria good leaders that will lead her to the promised land in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, expose and disgrace all the perpetrators of evil in this country. Let killing, kidnapping, and banditry stop. Say, stop. Say it again. Stop in our nation. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your peace that surpasses all understanding continue to reign in this country, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand for urgent, divine intervention over this nation, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost as we pray for one dear nation, Nigeria, this morning. Let there be peace in our country. No more corruption in Nigeria. No more banditry in Nigeria. No more killing in Nigeria. No more kidnapping in Nigeria. No more scarcity in our nation. Shagadagadagadosha. Ikosete bosuta. Agadegede bozata bosita. Shagede bozuta. Father, intervene for all Nigerians. In the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in our nation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stretch forth your arm for the senior pastor's prophetic declaration. Let there be true deliverance and rescue for you, for your family, for your own country. Thereby, you and your family take their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. All through the month of October and beyond, you will not share bitter tears. Even if they are sharing sorrow for you for free, you should not know the way to your family. The Lord keep you. The Lord preserve you. The Lord make his face shine upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Three powerful independence. Amen. Amen. Amen and hey.
Celebrate Jesus the clap offering as you please take your seat. Praise the Lord. GCIC, you can do better by celebrating Jesus with a big, big clap offering. Hallelujah. The scriptures say we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the words of our testimony, and they love not their life unto death. I have some overcomers here in the house. I want you to celebrate them while they come out for their testimonies. Put your hands together for Jesus, for Sister Favor. I want you. Sister Favor and Wonyi, and also Sister Tosin, Owa, and Brother Agada Isaiah. You are not clapping for Jesus. You can do better, sir. Amma. Hallelujah. Sister Favor, Wonyi, and Sister Tosin, Owa, and Brother Agada Isaiah. Onima, your testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm um, Favor Wonyi by name. I want to thank God for. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to appreciate him for his faithfulness and his loving kindness. I want to thank God for how God blessed me. I want to thank God for healing all around. Two weeks ago, I was down with sickness. But I want to thank God that God healed me. I want to thank God that even the pain that I had before, God healed everything totally. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. I also want to thank God for miracle alerts. I want to thank God because God has been faithful and I want to judge God faithful over my life and over my family. I want to quickly sing this song to appreciate God. And they will sing it for you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. The testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. The choir have been singing all along. Praise the Lord. My name is Oluwato Sihowa. I want to thank God for his goodness and mercies over my life, over my family. I want to thank God for adding another year to my year. On Wednesday, I'm going to be 40, and I thank God because he has kept me and preserved me. That we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for the life of your daughter. Thank you for decades of keeping her alive, for decades of fulfilling purpose, for decades of making impact for decade of destiny for female. Father, to you alone be all the glory. We ask that you bless her. The next 40 years of your life shall be greater than the former. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. We the next experience ends in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Happy birthday in advance. Praise the Lord. My name is Agada Isaiah, come to judge God faithful for what he has done in my life. Um, since I grew up that I got to know myself, I've always had this dream that in the night when I'm sleeping, there's this force as if he's pressing me, and at night I'll be struggling to say blood of Jesus, and then when I wake up, I'll be like, is it the blood of Jesus that saved me, or I managed to just wake up? So it has been like that since I knew myself. But after the last, the night vigil of um, July, the power thought night vigil of July, this thing I'm telling you, I've never mentioned it to anybody, not even my wife, not even my parents. I just took it like a normal thing. And when pastor mentioned it that in your sleep, you'll be sleeping as if somebody is pressing you, something is pressing you, and I took it personal. And after that night vigil from July, I don't want to talk about it. I've been trying to monitor it till today. And I've come to judge God faithful that that thing has gone and it has gone forever. Praise the Lord. So you have not been experiencing it again since July. Never. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. That's right. That's deliverance. Secondly, I want to thank God. In December last year, I had a discussion with my wife and we prayed to God that where I'm walking, if it's the will of God that I will not be there again, it should just cause something to make me leave. And in January, the boss just came. He said, you have been paying you. I don't know what you are doing. I said, sir, if, I'm, if you are paying me, I don't know what I'm doing. Please sack me. And then he gave me a letter, one month notice. And the notice expired. I refused to go to work. He called me. He said, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, what was happening at home? You gave me a letter. I said, did the letter say you are fired? I said, sir, read it again. You said, I will come only when you need me. So I want to tell you that from that time, 
I start up my own business. The same thing with my wife. She started up her own business. But last week, something happened, sir. After the Sunday service, the boss called me. He said, come. I went to his place. Though he called me from time to time when he needs me. But this time around, sir, the same salary he was paying me that I was complaining of, that is the same thing he's, he's paying me from that day. He gave me an appointment later. I was reluctant. I said, this thing is a setup. I told him, sir, I don't want to come and sit down and work again. He said, no, the same arrangement, you come when we need you, with the same salary, sir. I just come to judge God faithful. It's not because I know too much, but because of the grace of God, and God has done that for me. Only, sir, where my wife was working, the same boss, she told her that what you are doing, I, I don't understand, I, because she asked her to come to work on Sunday, and my wife said, cannot come to work on Sunday. That's the only day I have with my husband. And she said, okay, go. The same day she asked her to go, that same month, my wife got her own place. She opened her own shop. And today she's earning like five times what they were paying her. And that's what God has done. And finally, sir, today happens to be my birthday. And October happens to be my anniversary, wedding anniversary. And my wife's birthday at the same time. So October happens to be our month. I've come to judge God faithful. Since I came to this church, it has been from one testimony to another. Even though we try to look at a particular testimony that this is what we want God to do, we ignore some little, little things which are mighty and God has been faithful. Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise. Father, we thank you for a lordy load of testimony. For the Isaiah family, we declare greater grace, greater honor, enlargement, perfection of everything that God has started in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. And the Lord bless your new age in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. God bless you. Praise, Happy birthday. Praise the Lord. This is his time to give our offering. And I want you to dip your hand into your treasure bag, your pockets, and bring a good offering for Almighty God and also your seed. And if you are bringing out your tithe, if you are writing a check, please write in the name of God City International Church. And for those that are doing e-transfer, our details are on the screen. If you have life here, your offering, the usher will get to you where you are seated. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to give in thy presence. We ask everlasting for everyone giving, O oh Lord, that you shall replenish in the name of Jesus. Everyone sowing any seed, Father, bountiful harvest. All titles heaven shall be open unto you. Thank you, faithful God, for the opportunity. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. Are you ready? Jesus One more time Hey Hey To be chuku To be chuku To be chuku He has done it for me to be chiku, to be chiku, to be chiku, he has done it for me. Hey, even before I prayed, Jehovah Nisi answered me. To be chiku, he has done it for me. Hallelujah, he has taken away my fears and given me peace of mind. See the way he answered me. See the way he answered me. See the way he answered me. Hey. See the way he 
Jesus. See what the Lord has done. My God, my God, my God. Ah, see what the Lord has done. Jesus. Ah, see what the Lord has done. If you are not standing by now, you can please do and just lift your hands to the Lord and bless Him. Give Him all the praise, give Him all the honor, give Him all the adoration. From January to October, it couldn't have been by your power, sir. It couldn't have been by your making, sir. It couldn't have been by your wisdom. This is the doing of the Lord. Do you feel like you owe him? Give him thanks. Give him all the praise. We worship you. Thank you for your doing. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. We are grateful. 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 Mashallah da 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 do sha. Washala renda. Washala renda. Washala renda. When I think. When I think, 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 all the goodness of Jesus. I know all he has done. Oh, he's doing so much. My very soul.
lift up your name. Let no man boast. What do you have that you have not received from him? You didn't keep yourself alive. There are several of your mates that have died. They were not the worst sinners. It's just the mercy of God that kept you. Many of your mates are in prison custody. Correctional center. Many of your mates are not near where you are. Not because you are the smartest. Not because you are the most connected. Not because you are the wisest. But the Lord has show you mercy. Father, we thank you. We truly owe you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. And forever we have vowed. We will always give you your glory. Bless everyone here today. Bless everyone watching across the nations of the heart. And let your name be glorified. Breathe upon your world. Let it quicken the heart of men. Let the world be crystal clear and razor sharp. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Say, bigger and better. Say, bigger and better. Say, bigger and better. Shall be my blessing. Give Jesus a clap of praying and please be seated. You are welcome to church today. And this is the day of freedom. It's the day of independence. It's the day of victory. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 4. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 4. Is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Thanksgiving celebration testimony service. It's also the day of the grand finale of the Next Level Conference 2023. The Lord has been faithful and good to us since Wednesday. The deluge of the world, revelation upon revelation, impartation of the same. And today is the day of bigger and better blessing. It will not elude you. The scripture says, Sing! O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with a child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spear not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stick. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand. Amen. Don't bother, I'm saying amen for you. And on the left, amen. And I see shall inherit the Gentiles. Amen. And make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Amen. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Very quickly we are looking at bigger and better. And it's going to be short word. Because there are so many things to do. 
And it's going to be under three headings. God's provision, God's conditions, God's purpose. Bigger and better blessing. Let's first of all know and note that God's blessing is indispensable in the life of a man. God's blessing is indispensable in the life of every mortal man. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, the Bible said God created man in his own image and after his likeness. And then the first thing he said to this man he created was that the Bible said he blessed them. Hear this. Only God's blessing can sustain man that he made. Only God's blessing can sustain man that he made. For example, take for instance, that the breathing, the breath of life that you breathe. When people are sick and they need oxygen, they have this cylinder attached to them. I don't know whatever it the cost now, but at the last count, when it was 15,000 or 20,000 or 35,000, we calculated for a year that you, if you need oxygen for a year, it was running to about over 400 million naira. That's for breathing alone. Now imagine that all of us need to queue up at petrol station or gas station for oxygen every morning. Uh, you know, have you queued for petrol before? Now, there will be some rich people who will buy some station. They say, what about other people? They say, let them go to anywhere. But as for this station, I bought it for me and my family. So many people, and take for instance, you know, during the COVID, the people need something to breathe. You saw the scarcity of it. But do you know that breath God gave you free of charge? You are not paying anything for it. You know how much you are paying per liter for petrol. Now, if you are to pay for the bread, how much will you be paying? So he said, let everything that has bread, praise the Lord. No matter what it doesn't have, as long as you are breathing, you are indebted. You are indebted. So it is the blessing of the Lord that make you to breathe in and breathe out. Nothing can sustain man but God's blessing. Therefore, I decree and declare over you today, may the blessing of God rest upon you. Amen. Number two, the blessing of God is so important that it terminates struggle, yoke, and survival mode in people's life. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Proverbs 10, 22. The Bible says, it is the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich. And added no struggle to it. The blessing of the Lord. So the blessing of the Lord is the manufacturer of riches. If you know what many people struggle and go through to be rich. You'll be afraid. They go through all kind of things. And it's not how much you struggle that bring riches. It's God's blessing. We're talking about kingdom riches here. The kind of riches you have. And you can still sleep in your house. Many people you envy, if you know their life, you won't envy them. You are not rich until you have peace. You are not rich until you have And there are people, even in debt, they don't have peace. Because they are still trouble. So the blessing of the Lord make it rich and give you peace, tranquility, and serenity. This is good news. Do you know that blessing is free of charge in the kingdom? In this kingdom of God, the blessing of God is free of charge for everyone that is saved. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. Is that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for us that we through that cause, the blessing of Abraham may come upon us. By the way, what is blessing? Blessing means addition. What is blessing? Blessing means fruitfulness. What is blessing? Blessing means multiplication. Blessing means to be put in advantage position. When you are blessed, God puts you in an opportune position. How do you know a man that is not blessed? If we, wherever he runs to, something good has left the place. 
Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, from verse 5 to 10. He talks about the man that is blessed and the man that is not blessed. When you see anybody that is not blessed, they always miss their blessing. When they get there, they say it has finished. When they run to other place, they said they just left here. A spiritual mentor told me a story one time, and I think when I invited him here, he has told it before. He said they were distributing free food somewhere in an occasion. A young man sat in the front, and they exempted him in the front. He was not served. So he saw that they were serving at the back. He quickly ran to the back. By the time he got to the back, it has finished. And when he was coming back, somebody was carrying a tray. And when he saw, he said, no, I've not been given. They gave him, they, he didn't even want, they gave him, and they gave him to speak. He didn't eat, he didn't drink. He said, <laughs> it's a sign of missing blessing. I want to pray for you. You won't miss your blessing. When you are blessed, you are right at the center of favor. Psalm 16 verse 6. Psalm 16 verse 6. He said, the lies are falling unto me in pleasant places. All these are the provision of the kingdom. But take note of this. Even blessing has categories. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Verse 12 and verse 14. The Bible says, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered into the heart of man. What the Lord has prepared for those that love him. Do you love him? That means what you are calling blessing now. If people have seen what you have, then there is a greater one. If people have seen it, then there is a better one. So what, where God is taking you, no man has been there. And you will get there. Oh. I said you will get there. In verse 12, he said, these things are freely given unto us. They are freely given unto us. So we are destined for blessing. What kind of blessing? Enlargement blessing. Increase blessing. Psalm 115. Verse 14. He said, The Lord will increase you more and more. Somebody say, More and more. Somebody say, More and more. What does it mean? More money, more greatness, more honor, more beauty, more and more. In your lifetime, they will not refer to you as Israel. That's what they call more. If it's not increasing, it's not really, you know, there are ex governors you can mention their name today, and somebody will say, Is he still alive? And the man is alive, but nobody's remembering him anymore. You better sign up for the kingdom blessing. You know, when it is kingdom blessing, until you see Jesus in glory, you are still great. Do you know they still call Abraham father in heaven today? They call him Father Abraham. We are talking about generational blessing. The blessing that transcend this world. So what you have seen so far is an introduction. God will take you to a bigger blessing. Having said that, let's know God's blessing is with conditions. What are the conditions to greater and bigger blessing? Number one, righteousness. Righteousness. Anyone that wants to have continuous blessing must possess righteousness. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. What he said is the path of the just shall shine. The just mean the righteous. Who are the righteous? Those that have taken the righteousness of Christ and appropriate it. Therefore I decree in the name that is above every other name. The almighty God take you from glory to glory. I saw this scripture of reason. Job chapter 17 verse 9. When I was preparing for our next level conference, I stumbled on it. It blessed me not in a small measure. The Bible said, the righteous also shall hold on his way. And he that has a clean hand shall be stronger and stronger. And stronger and stronger. They don't grow weaker and weaker. They go stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So I decree over somebody today 
from this day, you will go stronger, 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 and stronger. You will not grow weaker. Number two is obedience. It opens us up to progressive blessing. Obedience. Obedience is an alignment in the kingdom. You see, we must understand as the children of God. Yes, God is the father. But God is also a king. You see, the fatherhood side of God makes him to operate by love. But the king aspect of his life makes him to operate by laws and decree. That's why <laughs> when people continue to wallow and say, hey, no, God is my father. It's true, he's a father. But some of us that come from royal houses here, you know what it means. When your father is your father and is also the king of the land, there are laws he will not bend for you. We are not talking of him being a governor or president. When it has to do with a royal house, there are laws that will not be bent. There's an individual in the United Kingdom now. He was more loved by the late queen than even the current king. But there are some attitude that is not consistent with a royal house. So, in the place of honor, his name is by the side. He's still the son of the uh, something, he's still a royal, but he's limited to his house. God can forgive, but there are destiny that may not be attained. We must understand that aspect of our father. He's our father, he operates by law, but at the same time, there is an alignment. Yes, he may put Adam in the garden. But you must not hit this. The day you hit it, you will still be assisting. I will provide you with skin. So, obedience is what makes us to line up with our father who is the king. Then we can now reign in his study. Because there are attitudes that is not allowed in a royal house. In the one part of the nation, which I won't go into detail, Something happened one day, and the king on the throne, something happened between him and his wife, and he was beating Olori. I won't tell you where it came from. <laughs> he was beating until he beat him into the gutter, beat her into the gutter. Now, the, uh, the king maker said, no, the, the king know they do this. He was deposed, and they put another king there. There are attitudes that belong to the royal house. The emotion notwithstanding. Yes, Moses, I got kiss with you mouth to mouth. But you must obey what I say. Because now you have become an elder sitting in heaven. And one day came, Moses was angry. He struck the rock. The Bible said, water came out abundantly. God said, Moses, King Loden, what did you do? Uh, no, 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 they don't do that. So, one of the things you need to pray for is the spirit of obedience. Say, I receive the spirit of obedience. Say, I receive the spirit of obedience. The day Adam held the fruit, he was out of the garden. God's plan is to download the heaven to the earth. He then was a download of the heaven to the earth. That's what God still wants to do on the earth today. So, if you want to enjoy God's blessing... You must obey. What are the things that you obey? John 15, 16. He said, I've not, you have not chosen me, I've chosen you. So obey soul winning. Obey winning soul, reaching out to the law. What are the things that you obey? Obey honoring the law. Obey honoring the law. Obey honoring the law. What are the things that you obey? Obey giving. Matthew 6, 38, give and it shall be given unto you. Even the people that don't belong to the kingdom, they understand that aspect. You know, we think we are smart. And the people that are even in the secular world knows. There are three ways to be rich. There are three ways to have more. Number one, by saving. Which is the minima. They will tell you. Only God knows the percentage of the TB now. Treasure uh, B. Only God knows. And in those days, when we were grown up, we used to think that when somebody fixed the money, eh, you can know the percentage. So the saving yield minimum. Yield minimum. 
very, very minimal. The another way is by investment. Investment. And you see all kind of investment here and there. There are individuals that are even withdrawing their resources because of the certainty that surround the economy. But the people that are great know that the greatest way to be blessed is by sacrifice. Then you see them sacrificing the big way. I was watching the gate the other day, and what they are sacrificing to Africa, the enormous. They know what it means. But in Buffalo, they say all these children should not bother about his wealth because they can't maintain what he released out. Hear this the same thing operates in the kingdom. To be blessed in a greater dimension has to be at a sacrifice level. So when you want to reach the blessing of the Lord, the level of the sacrifice and alignment is what determines where he will take you. Number three things that make us to be blessed is called thanksgiving. 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 Until you thank God for the last, you are not entitled to the next. The reason why many people have not left the level where they are is that they complain too much. They complain about everything. When you complain, you complicate matter. Numbers 11, 1. He said, because the people complain, it displeased the Lord. Please, let's always remind ourselves, God does not look like man looks. God is not a man. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. My thoughts are not your thoughts. You see, man will know what you are going through when you complain to them. You can't do the same thing to God. When you complain to God, what you get is a knock on the head. Numbers 11, 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. What many people call prayer is complain. Oh God, oh God, I am now 37 and a half. God said, I'm the one that created you and know your age. Is it good like this? Your daughter is not yet married by now. Eh? I'm 37 and a half. God said, continue. You don't accuse God. He said, neither mama ye are some. Please, no matter whatever level you are now, you have left where you used to be. You are in a transit. Do you know that there are people now that are making your current level as their prayer point? Oh God, make me like this man. Make me like this man. I'll give you an example. As a child that may be feeling form for jam now to become an accountant. Oh God, my dream is to become an accountant. Now here you are as an accountant. You even chatter. Chatter, chatter. Oh God, the salary in this nation. This one, that one. Or you are an accountant that a boy is dreaming about. What will take you to your next is your heart of thanksgiving. If you can thank God enough, whatever is in your hand is enough. There is nothing big that cannot be bigger. Depending on the thanksgiving that you put on it. In the name that is above every other name, I ask that the spirit of thanksgiving will rest upon you. But do you know thanksgiving is not thanksgiving until you mention it? What has God done? This one, this one. Psalm 103, verse 2 and 3. He said, forget not all his benefit. To forget God's benefit is to forfeit your welfare. You have to mention it. I've told you before. There are many text messages I receive. Some after some day, they just say, thanks. That's not gratitude. And sometimes if I have time, I put there, thanks for what? Thanks for what? When you are saying thanks, that's ingratitude. We have to watch our attitude. We have to watch our statement. We have to watch our thoughts. If our thanksgiving will be acceptable, it has to be in those realms. Starting with our thoughts. If you are thoughtful, you will be thankful. And if you are thankful, God will feel you. You have to think about it. What has God done for me? I told them in the previous service one day I wrote down. 22 times that God delivered me from death. That day I broke down in tears. So I will have died 22 times. There are many of us like that, that many times God has delivered you from death. Many times God has saved you. But human being, being what we are, we major on the minor. We minor on the major. Just because of what you are. Where if God didn't deliver you from those things, 
you will not become what you have become today. Therefore, I want to pray for you that in the name that is above every other name, the Lord give you the spirit of gratitude. And finally, what makes us to be blessed and receive the blessing of God is kingdom service. Is to serve the purposes of God. The plan, the purpose of our God. Do you know that we didn't create ourselves? Psalm 100 verse 3 to 4. He said, we are not the one that made ourselves. Sometimes we forget this thing. That we didn't send ourselves here. That the almighty God sent us here. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. The Bible says everything God created. He created for his purpose. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 23. He said the way of a man is not in himself. And it's not in him to direct his way. So if God is going to bless you, you have to know the purpose. He wants to enlarge you so that you can lift his name for the world to see. I'm not very good in football, but there was one man, one footballer, that every time he scored goal, he will open his jersey. And what you will see is Jesus. Jesus. If God is going to take you to the place of influence, you must have a heart for him to be lifted. Everything is not for accumulation. Some are for distribution. If God is going to lift you, he will look at it. How many people will be lifted? What will be the benefit of the kingdom? How many churches will be planted? How many churches will be built? How many people will get to know the Lord through you? Will you make the name of Jesus popular? Will it be a thing of honor that they will say, oh, that person is a believer. That person is a child of God. That's what we are talking about. And if our nation is going to be great, it is through the name of Jesus. America is great today because everybody will say, God bless America. In God we trust. In God we trust. Any nation that make God their watch world, watch them. They will be lifted. You get to Israel, as little as they are, you must hear the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If that company of yours will be lifted, if that nation, if that thing you are doing will be lifted, you have to know that it has to be beyond you. It has to be about God. Every blessing of God must be because of God. And I pray for you that such a heart for God, the Lord will give to you. In the name of Jesus. When you get to that level, you are ready for bigger and better. And today, the Lord is going to release bigger and better upon you. Will you stand to your feet right now? Hallelujah. Are you ready for bigger and better blessing? Give Jesus Christ a club offering. He deserves it. He deserves it. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Because the name of Jesus will be lifted through you. The name of Jesus will be glorified through you. Can we lift up our children to him and say, Father, thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone, be all the glory. Go ahead and give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. We are grateful. We bless your holy name. We honor you. We exhort you. You are the one that can bless anyone. You are the blesser. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. One fundamental requirement of God's blessing is for a person to surrender his life to Jesus. Because the real blessing is inside salvation. Salvation is a total package. Everything is inside it. Therefore, everyone under the sound of my voice today, you want to say, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I want my sin forgiven. I need Jesus Christ to be the Lord of my life. I want to receive this blessing bigger and better. And I want to surrender to Jesus. I want to have my sin forgiven. I want to become a child of God. Wherever you are this morning, I want to pray for you. Lift up your right hand above your head. And we're ready to pray for right hand above your head. Lift it very well. Right hand above your head. I want to be saved today. I want to make Jesus Christ the Lord of my life. I want to be saved. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you. Step forward to the altar and come. Come. 
come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, step forward to the altar. I want to be saved today. I want my sin forgiven. I need Jesus in my life. Come quickly. Make your way to the front. Come and meet Jesus. He's calling you today. He's calling you today. He's calling you today. He's calling you today. Come. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. Don't be too big for Jesus. He's the biggest. He's the greatest. He's the highest. He's the wealthiest. He's the largest. He's the wisest. He's calling you. His name is Jesus. We lift him up for the nations to see. It's all about Jesus. And you are out there, you want to say, Pastor, I've done it before, but I know I'm not living as a child of God. You want to rededicate your life, you can also come and the Lord bless you. Now I begin to pray for everyone that in that name that is above every other name, you will not miss the blessing today. You will not miss his favor today. You will not miss the increase today. You will not miss the enlargement today. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You can please take your seat in a moment. Those of you that are in front, I want to pray for you. Lay your right hand on your chest right now. And close your eyes and pray this prayer with me with all your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Now I pray for you right now that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness, establish you in salvation, make all things to be well with you in the name of Jesus. You will serve the Lord till you see him in glory. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. Congratulations. Please, we like to see you. God bless you this way. God bless you. Congratulations. You have made an important decision and greatest decision of your life today. Hallelujah. You can clap better for Jesus. That's the greatest of every service. Now, very quickly, in this service, we have so much to do in a moment we have reached the thanksgiving section of this service and in this thanksgiving is going to be with many aspects the first aspect we're going now is special thanksgiving special thanksgiving and it will be in this order it's going to start with baby dedications marriage dedication that day celebrant and today we have one of us that has reached a landmark age and is also celebrating in a special way and um, we were receiving him so those that are in that uh, category so about three category when they dance out they are going to be on the altar the people that came with them we also dance out with them to celebrate them. So we have the baby dedication. They will put their names on the screen. Um, marriage dedication. I'm, I'm not sure about that. If it, they will put it on the screen. Then we also have our beloved brother, Rachas Odogu. Rachas celebrating a landmark age. Give a clap of free to Jesus. We celebrate you today. So we're going to rejoice. The Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice. Then house dedication, house and car dedication, house and car dedication. Now, in this segment, for those celebrants and those that came with them, by the time the choir begins to sing, you will dance out with them. You package your seed of Thanksgiving, special Thanksgiving seed. You package the seed. If you have the envelope, you can put it in the envelope. If it is in the physical cash or check, if you need attention on the screen, um, they can put the detail on the multimedia so that you can be able to give your seed and your offering. And let's quickly do that and get that ready so that we begin to rejoice and celebrate. 
As the choir begin to sing now, those people that were mentioned, everyone with special thanksgiving, will begin to dance now. blessing of fruitfulness you'll be fruitful all your life your business will be fruitful and three is a good sign God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit we have the blessing of attaining age of landmark as you are hearing landmark so I'm hearing landmark <laughs> so a powerful Age, and that means that no one here will die young. Amen. The age where you have attained now is not yet the last. In the name that is above every other name, 
the next 60 years of your life, you should be waxing stronger. In the name of Jesus. And then all the blessing that God has done for people. So, as we are praying for them, key in into the one that you desire. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you for the blessing of fruitfulness. We therefore dedicate these children today in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No evil will befall you. The Lord protect you. The Lord preserve you. You will serve the Lord. You will serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, let the blessing of God rest upon you. Rest upon your parents. Rest upon everything you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will rise in glory. You will fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus, you will grow up and we get to know you with joy and gladness. You will know us with joy and gladness. The Lord bless your parents. I begin to pray for all the parents right now. That in the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. Let his blessing rest upon you. Let his favor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the birthday celebrant. I decree over you that the blessing of the Lord rest upon you. The favor of the Lord rest upon you. The wisdom of the Lord rest upon you. Rise in glory. Rise in honor. In the name of Jesus. Your garment of honor will not be taken from you. Enter into your jubilee. Enter into your favor. Enter into your increase. In the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone saying amen. You will never lack honor. You will never lack beauty. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, while they will be taking pictures, we're going to pray for the other people. The, um, what is it now? The wedding anniversary. Any wedding anniversary represented? Wedding anniversary? How many years? Three years. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Any other one? Wedding anniversary? 20 years. Birthday. Okay, we're going to, I'm still going to come back. Birthday celebrant. Awesome, awesome. October children. Wow, engineer. Wonderful. Happy birthday. Day celebrant and the Lord bless you in Jesus name. Let us pray for you. Please once you drop your seat you can go back to your seat. Just give us five ten minutes will be true. Father we thank you. We give you all the glory for all the wedding anniversary celebrant and birthday celebrant. We declare the blessing of the Lord rest upon you. The favor of the Lord rest upon you. The increase rest upon you. The favor rest upon you. Go from glory to glory. Go from honor to honor. Go from beauty to beauty. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You will fulfill the number of your days. You will not die young. You will not die poor. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. 
the Lord do you good. The Lord fulfill all his counsel for you. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. Now, Prince Charles, give us five, ten minutes. They are not going anywhere yet. Yes. Five, ten minutes. Walk close now. Now, we go into the children Thanksgiving. Are they here? Children Thanksgiving. Yes. And then the teenagers follow them also. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. He is worthy of my praise. Congratulations. Children, shout hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for our children. Thank you for preserving them from January to October. We give you all the glory. We present them unto you once again for the month of October. Lord, we pray that your presence will tabernacle with them. In the name of Jesus, the Shekinah glory of God will rest upon you. Children, you will excel. You will succeed in the name of Jesus. The hand of God rests upon you. The Lord carry you to your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will not miss it in life. Oh. You will not miss it in destiny. You will not jump rock here and there before you hit the mark. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. This section, this stamp, you will be number one in your class. Heavenly wisdom, knowledge, understanding rest upon you. The spirit of excellence rests upon you. I bless you today with the blessing of the breast and the blessing of the womb. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. I pray for every parent here. You will not bury your children. The Lord provide for you. Everything you need to train your children in the way of the Lord. The Lord make it available unto you. You will never lack anything good. Children, teachers, it shall be well with you. The Lord take care of you and your family. In the name of Jesus. All our pregnant sisters, they will deliver safe and sound. Mother alive, baby is alive. No complication. Everyone trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb and crying unto God and when will my own child join this once? When will my children join them? I pray this month of October your conception take place and you carry your children nine more times in the name of Jesus. So shall it be the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Children, you are preserved. No evil will come near you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Children, say powerful. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, children. God bless you. Then we have the teenage church now.
Thanksgiving will come after that. Package your general Thanksgiving. Package your seat for general Thanksgiving. You can't delay this elder and then they are now waiting. They are coming. <clears throat> no. No. There is something they call home training in my village. Well, uh, they, are, they are coming. No. No, no, no. No. Now, please package your Thanksgiving seed, general Thanksgiving seed. You saw the children that they were already here. They were the one waiting for us. Let this be the last warning. Was not happen again. You can't delay. thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for our teenagers and the young adults. Lord, we ask that you bless them. Increase them in leaps and in bands. In the name of Jesus, at 17, David won a national award. In the name of Jesus, at this your tender age the world will hear about you wisdom beyond your age let the Lord give unto you 
in the name of Jesus from the first 25 years of your life you will make impact in the world in the name of Jesus in your academics you will excel you will triumph in every area an excellent spirit was found in Danny let that excellent spirit rest upon your life in the name of Jesus in every competition you will be the first spirit of wisdom is given unto you unction is given unto you grace is given unto you power is given unto you fire of the Holy Ghost is given unto you enlarge in every area expand in every area thank you father blessed be the name of the Lord forever we shall praise you in Jesus mighty name we pray teenagers shout hallelujah congratulations now we go to the general thanksgiving and we celebrate Jesus package your seed your thanksgiving seed the ushers will come to where you are you will be dancing and rejoicing I will lift up my voice I will joyfully sing for what you have done for me and for who you are you say you are the song that I sing melody in my heart Over what you have done, over what you have done for me, and for me, you are the song that I sing. You are the song that I sing. Melody in my heart, melody in my heart. The reason I sing, the reason I sing is to praise you, Lord.
that I want. Number two, between now and December, this is where I want to find myself. Number three, by this time next year, 2024, October 1st, these are the level where I want to find myself. Levels, 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 levels. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. God answers prayers on this mountain. You are the next to testify. Levels. It is the moment to decide how great your destiny will be now. You have opportunity to decide right now. You have opportunity. 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 You have opportunity to decide. You have the opportunity to decide. You have opportunity to decide. Thank you, Father. Now stretch forth your hands to receive. Hmm. This is October 1st. I decree and declare in the name that is above every other name. Beyond where you are now, let the blessing of God take you. Beyond where you have ever dreamed for yourself, let the blessing of God take you there. From the point where you are now, let the blessing of God take you to where you need to be. This is October 1st. From this moment to the end of the year, you will not know how a dick look like. Mimi, you will not know pain. Mimi, hospital will not become your second home. Ember month will not swallow you. Resort that will swallow your insult. Let that resort begin to come out of your hands. Let the Lord lift you beyond your imagination. Let the Lord lift you beyond your intention. The Lord will decorate you. The Lord will distinguish you. The Lord will honor you. 
You can only respect yourself. You can't honor yourself. It takes God to honor people. Therefore, I decree from today, this month, God will wear you garment of honor. They don't buy honor in the market. Honor is that you say it and it apple. It's honor. Honor is that you pray and you get answer. Honor is that you are not looking for great people. Great people are looking for you. Honor is you are not looking for money. Money is looking for you. You never lack. You never borrow. You never beg. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, let that honor rest upon you. He said to Moses, I will take of the honor on you and put it on these elders, 70 elders. I decree and declare today by the privilege that we are found in him. Let this honor be conferred on you now. Amen. No battle of life will defeat you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Move from glory to glory. Move from honor to honor. Move from power to power. What didn't happen in nine months shall happen in one month. The yes you didn't get for nine months, you will get it this tenth month. Where they said no to you in nine months, you will get yes this month. The appointment will take place this month. The letter of joy will drop for you this month. God will take you further than you have ever imagined this month. God will bless you and bless your children. He will bless the work of your hands. This your hands, you are stretching to God. You will not use it to carry dead children. You will not use it to carry dead bodies. Nothing will die in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Signs and wonder will happen through your hands. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today, receive that bigger and better blessing. Bigger and better accommodation. Bigger and better mobility. Bigger and better connection. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Say, bigger and better. Say, bigger and better. Say, bigger and better shall be my portion. Give Jesus a clap offering. It is done. And congratulations. Congratulations, sirs. Congratulations, ma'am. Your blessings shall be permanent. Let's listen to these following notices. Good news. Good news. And good news. Next week, Sunday, is our anointing service. And it's going to be anointing for flourishing, finishing. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better. Every good process that has started for you shall be completed. The Lord will surprise you. The Lord will increase you. You shall not be put to shame. So get ready with your bottle of oil. We're going to pray over it. It become anointing oil. Every process and project that has started shall be completed. Do well to invite others to church as you come next week Sunday. We well, bless God for a wonderful time during the next level conference. The Lord surprised us beyond our imagination. And your blessing will last very long in Jesus' name. A 10 days prayer and fasting to open up October start this evening by 5.30. And we meet daily in the church. Come with a bottle of oil, your prayer point, and every other thing that you need God to do. The team is complete testimony. Who is that one that God will complete his or her testimony? A brother or a sister? Let the fellow shout the loudest, hallelujah. All leaders meeting, the elders, the pastors, the ministers, zonal leaders, HODs, acting HODs, assistants, and people with, uh, that are saddled with statutory responsibilities will be meeting on October 7 by 8 a.m. Please take note, this is not general workers meeting, simply for the leaders and the assistants. 
A morning dew from tomorrow morning run on testimony. Somebody here, your testimony season has already started in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow evening, we're going to be having a special service. Even though under the canopy of the pastor, there is this team that God has commanded that we should give him victory dance. Victory dance. Whether for us as individual or for the nation, your season of victory is here. Say my season of victory is here. No more defeat for you and your family. Wednesday launch our fellowship promises to be great. That will be October 4th. And it's going to be a powerful section in the presence of the law. Mount Zion now will come up on Thursday. And the theme of the month is going to begin to unveil to us. Prayer and praise perfect our blessing. Prayer and praise perfect our blessing. Prayer and praise perfect our blessing. That's the theme of the month and the watchword for the month. Is there anyone here that God will begin to perfect that which concerns you? Let that fellow shout the loudest. Hallelujah. Today is your first time in God City International Church. I have the honor, the privilege, and the responsibility from the Lord, Jesus Christ himself and the apostle of the church to welcome you to church and to declare God's blessing upon your life. Therefore, wherever you are seated, today is your first time in the church. Will you please be upstanding right now as we declare God's blessing upon you. Today is your first time in the church. God bless you. God bless you. God honor you. Please pick up everything you brought to church and let's welcome you in the front. Please step forward and come. That everyone that is coming from the altar, do well to engage them and you will see them coming to pass even in your very life. In the name of Jesus. And also as much as it lies within you, don't miss the gathering of the saints because that's what transforms destiny and life. The Lord bless you. Make his face to shine upon you. Make his glory to be revealed over your life. And all the blessing of the house is pronounced upon you. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. Our team would like to receive you. And God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome. And you are welcome. You will be the next to testify. This October is your October. You are going to smile all through. You are going to laugh all through. No bitter tears on your face. No condolence visit in your house. No condolence register around your life. So you move from glory to glory. From honor to honor. From beauty to beauty. The Lord is changing your garment. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. 2023. My year of Trinity, my year of release, my year of restoration, my year of perfection. These are my portions. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 10 people, bigger and better blessing is my portion. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows it's not true. I serve a living God of everybody, no. Say, now you the real. I serve a living God, oh. Say, now true, oh, yeah. I serve a living God, oh.
bless you in Jesus name. Today is 1st of October 2023 and it's time for our Power Touch Daily Devotional. Today is our Thanksgiving and Blessing Sunday and it's also the grand finale of our Next Levels Conference 2023. Glory be to God. You made this to October. You are right here in October. Can you shout hallelujah? Pray for your country. Power Thoughts Daily Devotional, page 3. Pray for your country. Isaiah 66, verse 10 to 11. Isaiah 66, 10 and 11. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem. Media, please. Isaiah 66, 10 and 11. Rejoice we ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations, that ye may make out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. The word of wisdom for today says, when you are truly passionate about your nation, then you must be a recipient of the portion of your nation. I want to pray for somebody today. You will not miss your portion in this nation in the name of Jesus. Say loud, amen. Your true freedom and complete emancip emancipation is attached to that of the country where you originate from and where you live. No matter the freedom and influence that you have or that you are enjoying, if where you are residing, the country where you are living in, if there's no peace there, then you have not known true peace. I want to pray for somebody today. You will know true peace in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, amen. 
Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7. And seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive. And pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. From the scriptures that we have read, we saw that people's destiny have to do with the land they live in. For example, the destiny and greatness of Abraham was tied to the country where he was, where he resided. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Also, the marital bliss of Isaac, the son of Abraham, was predicated on the country of his origin. You can see that in Genesis 24, verse 1 to 4. The business breakthrough of Isaac cannot be divorced from the land where he lived. Genesis 26, verse 1 to 2, and verse 12 to 14. The final freedom of Jacob and arise and establish your purpose over Nigeria. And let us begin to enjoy the good and blessings of the land in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that you put the government of this nation in your shoulder in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, give Nigeria good leaders that will lead her to our promised land in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, expose and disgrace all the perpetrators of evil in this country and let killing, kidnapping, and banditry stop. Say stop. Say it louder. Stop in our nation. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your peace that surpasses all understanding continue to reign and rule in our nation. Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand for urgent divine intervention over Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, pray it in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray for peace in our nation. No more killing, no more banditry. No more scarcity and want in Nigeria. Pray for your nation. Today is our independence. Pray for Nigeria. Ayagada yagada gadosha ambo zende bozoto yakata bozuta let there be peace in our nation in the name of Jesus thank you our father in Jesus name we are pray i want to pray for you and your family you will not true peace you will not true peace in the name of Jesus Lord, we pray for Nigeria. No more killing. No more banditry. No more corruption. No more scarcity in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in our nation. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Three powerful independence. Amen. 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 And hey, give Jesus a big clap offering as you please take your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. It's glad that all the children are on this side. Then we decided to moved to Abuja because uh, there was no one to be talking to except myself and my husband. And we put up the house for sale for a long time and uh, we couldn't find buyers. They, we left everything in the house, the AC, generator, <laughs> everything intact. We still didn't find a buyer. But God made it possible one day by you know, no, no fruitless effort and God brought a buyer. And uh, we sold the house and we were able to you get another property in Abuja and have come to return all glory to God. And secondly, God also, in the same way, blessed us with a new car and have come to return all glory to God. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for your blessing, for your favor. Even in their old age, it shall be fruitful. We decree and declare that your fruitfulness continue. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you and your husband with good health to enjoy all you have labored for. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations, Mama.
Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Tosin Lawa. I've come to judge God's faithful this morning. I've come to say thank you to God because God has been faithful. Number one, I want to thank you for the healing of my son. Um, Daddy prayed for him on Thursday. And by Friday, he was already running and up and doing. Thank God for that. Secondly, I had two pending projects from the office. Even the project almost gave me two uh, art palpitation because I could remember my boss telling me that, so see, with this project, you are just on your own because of various things that happened. And there was a particular event that the budget, I didn't do it well, but God went ahead of me because God, uh, Daddy always said something. He said, God will cover your error and color your effort. That was exactly what God did for me on this particular event, that I was commended, thank you from different aspects of, uh, of the commission, even around the world. Thirdly, um, on Thursday, I applied for a visa, and it's actually a Shagan visa. And this particular visa, I used it for another location, but I didn't use it for the particular state, because you have to stop and check in, and the visa expired. I need to renew it. And my heart was beating. I, I renewed it. And I can remember on Wednesday, no, the, so, no, Friday morning too, pastor said something. He said, um, he said they will not say no, they will say yes. And I said, ah, that's true, I applied for visa. And I said, that visa, it will be yes. That same day, I, uh, I just got an, because it was myself and my husband that applied, I got an email that, come and pick up your passport, and I was given the visa. Give Jesus, is that all? I want to pray. <laughs> no, that no. Then the, la the, the last one, God will be adding another year to my, yes, in, on, on Wednesday, by God's grace. So I want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for provision, preservation, and protection. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory for the lordly load of blessing you have given to your daughter and the entire family. Father, continue to bless her, bless her home, bless the family in the name of Jesus. And for the new age, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Take you to the next level, make you to become larger and bigger and better in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations. Hallelujah. It's time for our offering. Please, let's put our hands in our bags and bring out our offering. The details, in case you want to transfer or whichever one, is on the line, on the screen. Praise the living Jesus. When we have done that one, please let's lift up our offering as we turn it unto God for giving unto us. Father, we thank you for our offerings. We give you all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Because after all that which are given unto us, right on this unto you, Father will give you all the honor. Bless our offerings, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Every tighter, things shall longer be tight in the name of Jesus. And for every seed or the other, O oh Lord, honor your words in the lives of your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. given. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your honor. Yeah. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness. This is not because I am worthy to receive the kind of love that you gave. There's a way for all your mercies, and I'm grateful for your grace. And because of how you brought out yourself, I have called.
come to sing this song God in praise every part to say
you go ahead and just bless the name of the Lord? Are you truly grateful? Are you truly grateful that you are seeing the new month? Are you truly grateful? Will you go ahead and give him thanks right now? Are you truly grateful that you can witness the new month? Somebody go ahead and bless our God. Worship him. Adore him. Exalt him. Ever faithful. Ever sure. Can you mention 10 names of God that you know? Count it at your fingertips. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Law. He's the Asian of Days. He's the Lily of the Valley. He's the Balm of Gilead. He's the Rose of Sharon. He was. He is. He is to come. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, without the assistance of the choir, can you raise a song of thanksgiving? Can you remember any song to sing to the Lord? Just raise a song. Heaven is requesting for a song from you. They said, give us a song. Heaven is requesting for a song. They said, give us a song. A song of thanksgiving. A song of thanksgiving. Heaven is requesting for a song. A song of gratitude. A song of gratitude. A song of gratitude. Hmm. A song of gratitude. mighty name we pray I decree and declare from the level where you are now God take you further God takes you bigger God makes you bigger he makes you better rise in glory rise in honor you will not reduce you will not tell the story I used to be rich you will not tell the story I used to be great you will not tell the story I used to be famous. You will go from glory to glory. You will go from honor to honor. Thank you, Father. Father, breathe upon your wall and make us bigger. Make us better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering and please be seated. Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Say bigger and better. Therefore, in this Thanksgiving service of the next level conference and blessing service, we have this team and the prophetic war bigger and better. Somebody say bigger and better. Now, the scripture has not left us in doubt concerning the God that we serve. We can always look at what he has done yesterday and be able to foretell what he will do today. In Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. The Bible said this God has a path by which he operates. He said for whatsoever things were written before our own time. Our time. Were written, number one, for what? For our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. So everything written in the scripture, number one, is written for our learning. Number two, is written for us to have hope that God that visited them, he will visit us if we do what they did. Hello? If we do what they did, we are going to get the result that they got. So every word you see in scripture is for our learning, is for our example, and is for our hope. 
Therefore, someone here, your future will be better than your past. So when God said bigger and better, the meaning of that is there is nothing big that cannot be bigger. There is nothing good that cannot be better. No matter the level where you are, God expects you that there is a higher one in front. A brother was testifying in one of the services. He was in a, a job, another, and the job looked to be shaken. And then God take him to a better one. Hear this, you are not at your last bus stop. You are not. By creation, we are meant to be progressive. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. The Bible said, God said, let us make man in our own image. So he made man in his image. And then in verse 28, the Bible said, he blessed them. And how do you know they are blessed? Number one, he said, be fruitful. Anything that is blessed must be productive, resourceful, and fruitful. Now, if anybody is fruitful, you don't relax there. Then he proceeded further and said, multiply. Somebody say multiply. Say I will multiply. Say I will multiply. Say I will multiply. He said multiply. Now, if you stop at fruitfulness, you are not doing well. I repeat, if you stop at fruitfulness, you are not doing well. Until your fruitfulness turns to multiplication, you have not fulfilled God's mandate. Fruitfulness means produce something. Multiplication means multiply that thing that you have produced. That's why you will see many companies, they started in a place, and suddenly they now multiply. They call it patent. They call it patent. They now multiply from one location to another location, from one city to another city, from one nation to another nation. Multiplication. If Coca-Cola didn't multiply from U.S., you will not get it around the town. Multiplication. Number three, by nature, is uh, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish. What does that one mean? Saturate. Saturate the market. Saturate the market. Saturate the market. Don't stop at multiplication, but saturate. But we have limited this to bearing children alone. When he said replenish, you are not the only one that will populate the earth. Mm -mm. Saturate. There should be a brain idea that comes from you. There should be something that comes from you. Multiply. Replenish. Then subdue the market. And this is the fifth thing that God expects you to do. Is to now dominate. Dominion. You can never arrive at dominion until you are fruitful, until you multiply, until you replenish and subdue the market. There are individuals in this nation that have subdued some market. If you want to get anything, they say go there. They, are, they, they have the ownership. They have subdued the market. They have subdued the market. Now, in redemption, it is greater. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. The part of the jaws is as the shining light. How do you know the part of the jaws? The Bible says it will be more and more. It will be more and more. Every day you are adding. 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 That's Christianity. Every Christianity of less and less and less is an abuse to redemption. It has to be more and more. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. He said, you have dwelt so long on this level. There are some of us, we are due for a change of level. We are due. Why we thank God for where we are, but we must not be contained with where we are. We are due. You have dwelt so long enough. Then he said, turn. Turn. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 3. He said, you have compassed this mountain long 
et non. Ne comprends pas si long et non. Don't you not walk. You know, he said, don't let be full of activity. You must be making progress. But the question is, many people want to make progress. Many people want to be better. Many people want enlargement, but they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to get there. So how do we have better and bigger blessing? Because for everything of the kingdom, there is auto. And auto is more than the result you are having. Please hear me again. How to do something is better than having something. That's why you don't celebrate when they give you money. Hear this. What they give you does not make you. It's what you are giving that makes you. You may not believe it. There are individuals that don't pray for money. Example, I don't pray for money and I don't lack like it by every sense of humility. By every sense. By every sense of humility. But there are individuals, the way they are praying for it, you think they are speaking in tongues. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. money. <laughs> He said, the man is, God said, I'm afraid of this boy. <laughs> if I give him money, he will run away. <laughs> no. No. So, so you must know. No distraction, please. You must know how to is better than what is it? Is better than what you get. Your know how is better than what you have. Please hear this again. Are you hearing me? You must know how. The reason why many people are grounded is because they don't know how. In those days at Benin, Bishop Edipo went to Benin to see Archbishop. And when he was going, Archbishop said, now, inside the back, in his charismatic manner, he said, look, my son, take money. In those days, 2029, I feel the Ghana must go. He said, take money, take as much as one. Bishop Edipo said, he said, sir, he said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't need, he said, no, I will not take. You know, you know, Papa, now. Nah. what do you mean? You mean I can't give you money? I can't give you money. He said, Uncle, if I, that's not what I'm saying. I will rather have you teach me how to have it than you give it to me. And he said to us in the conference, he said, now he has gone to heaven. If I don't know how to get it, now that he has gone to heaven, you know I will be granted. How to is superior to what you have. How do I get bigger, stronger, and better? Blessing from the Lord. Number one, you have to get to a point of not arriving early. Don't get to a point and you say it is enough. Don't get to a point whereby you are contained. As long as you are breathing, there is a better something ahead. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Eyes have not seen, ears have no heart, and it has not entered into the heart of man. What the Lord has prepared for those that love him. You have to get a point. Especially as long as you are still breathing, there is still progress you can make. At 30, there is a result that is expected of you. At 60, there is a result that is expected of you. At 70, there is a result expected of you. At 90, there is a result expected of you. So until you breathe your last, you are still making progress. Number two, you want to have a bigger and better blessing? Possess a heart for God and for the things of the kingdom. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, for as many that love God. Proverbs 23, 26, my son, give me your heart. 
Many people's heart are not for God. It's just for things. Hear this. If things is what fill your heart, you will soon be satisfied. Only you, how many money will you need? But when you have heart for God, even when you have all these things, it didn't enter your heart. You are still chasing after God. The more you chase after God, the more he blesses you. Therefore, I decree, in the name that is above every other name, the grace to follow God all the days of your life, let it rest upon you. We gave example of somebody at the level of giving a plane out. Okay, now, what will that person, if you get to that level, what will you still be looking for God for? If you don't add art for God, possession can take the place of God in your life. And you know why people are satisfied? Uh, why am I going to church again? I have money. I have this. I have that. Hear this. I've discovered people that God continue to bless. They have one thing. Heart for God. With every sense of humility, respect and honor, there are a few individuals that I've met in life. They are very unassuming. Very unassuming. And when I check, I discover it's their heart that make God to lift them. There are testimony that it may bring controversy if we share it. Let me tell you, my beloved brethren, possess the new art for God. You will discover that your level will continually change from one level of glory to another level of glory to another level of glory. So you need art for God. He said, my son, give me your heart and let thy eyes observe my ways. Give me your heart. Second Chronicle chapter 25, verse 2 and 3. I hope I got it right. Second Chronicle 25. You need a heart for God to make your mark on the heart. Look at this guy. And he did that which was right in the sight of the law, but not with a perfect heart. There is scarcity of heart on the heart. That's why blessing of many are limited. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17. I read from verse 5 to 8. I pray for you all the days of your life. You will continue to run after God. Because he does say that, Lord, cause be the man that trusted a man and make a flesh his arm. Whose heart, are you taking note? Whose what? Whose heart departed from the law. When your heart shift, the blessing is limited. For he shall be like a eat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the bad places in the wilderness, in a short land and not inhabit it. You see, when your heart shift from the law, you will not be able to receive direction from God again. That's what he's saying. So when the blessing is in Portacot, you have gone to Sokoto. Now look at you now. He's talking about, the other man he's talking about, that's not you, that's the other man. But this one is you. Say this one is me. Then he said, blessed is that man, is that woman, that what? That trusted in the law. Whose hope is what? All oh, this one that you now met woman being. You say, Alaji, 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 you are my last hope. Oh. You are my last hope. God said, eh? Where am I in your life? Alaji, tell about you, I'm not going to There is no help for me. God said, that's why you are disappointed. Look at that man. Verse 7. A man. Look at it. Look at how this man will be. He shall be as a tree. How? Planted by the waters. And that spread out a root by the river. And shall not see. Now, there is heat on the heart now. There is financial heat. One dollar equals one thousand naira. 
Now, you have been hearing it. You say, what concern me? Olu me, I'm not the deal with dollar. Ah, who concern eh? It concern you. You will know. You, you will know. Is that no, no, that what concern? No. There is financial heat now on the heart. People are already selling their property to heat. There is hunger in the land. But it will not branch your house. Look at it. I'm showing you. No, this is prophecy. The, the Bible direct prophecy. This will be the best moment of some of you. Take it from the law. You won't struggle to pay school fees. You pay it with ease. Now look at it. It shall be like a tree planted by the waters and that spread out a root by the river and shall not and shall not see when it coming. There are some things are hard, things are hard. You will not know. But I live. What happened to it? That is, even in a dry season, our leaves shall be green. And shall not be careful in the year of farming. That drop near farming. Maybe you give me amplified translation when I finish this one. A message. And then I'll begin to round up. Neither shall cease from producing results. Producing results. We have some plantain that the Almighty God planted somewhere now. And the place is very close to the river. You get to know it very soon. Every day, almost every month, the plantain yield. Because they are planted by the water. Or it shall be like a tree planted, yielding a fruit. Hear this. Every day in October, you are going to be fruitful. You didn't believe that? Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Can you imagine every day you are receiving a lot? Can you imagine every day you are receiving money? Can you imagine every day you are receiving favor? Acts chapter 2 verse 47. Acts 2 47. It can happen to you. He said, daily God was adding. Daily God was adding. Daily, 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 daily. There is such a thing as daily addition. You will enter into it today. What is the number two secret? I've told you number one, right? Number two is obedience. Somebody say obedience. Obedience. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. John 2, 7. Whatever he tells you to do, you do it. Obedience. Until you are ready to obey, the blessing of God is not for you. And what has he commanded that you obey? Job 36, verse 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Look, you are asking God to enlarge you. When he enlarges you, what with the kingdom of God, feel it. Because even at your level now, what is the impact of your current blessing in what God is doing on the earth today? Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. The Bible says, you shall serve the Lord your God. And what about? And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will Take sickness. Look, one of the things, benefit of blessing is healthy life. It shall take sickness away from the midst of thee. Hear this. There is no organization on earth today who has the appointment, the criteria that the kingdom has. In fact, in many organizations, when they give you appointment letter, they give you, um, what do they call it, health insurance and health benefit that is we expect you to seek oh, when you are sick this is the hospital you will go but in the kingdom of god he said if you serve me i will take sickness away from the midst of thee <laughs> that belong to those that serve him i will take sickness away from the midst of you saw his sister testifying just now how god took away that sickness from that child 
She served away there. Therefore, I decree, none of you will serve sickness this October. You will not see sickness. Your children will not see sickness. There will not be sickness in your house. Verse 25, he said, I will take sickness away from you. He said, there shall not be barren in the land. Then there shall nothing cast their young. No miscarriage. No miscarriage. No miscarriage. No miscarriage. Can you imagine? They put some people's name on appointment list for the ministerial list. Before you know it, some, they were even, they have screened some. They said, no, they have replaced somebody. That's a national disgrace. The meaning of miscarriage there is, you will not hear something good is about to happen and it didn't now happen to you. That won't be you this October. Every good thing you hear about, it must happen to you. It must happen to you. It must happen to your family. It must happen around your life. It must happen in your family. In the name of Jesus. It must happen. Please insist oh, that good thing must happen around you. Insist oh, that good thing must happen for your family. Insist oh, that good thing must happen. When they told you, um, um, we are still waiting, begin to bind and loose. Begin to do what? And insist that it must happen to you. And it will happen to you. He said, none shall be barren in the land. Let every barrenness around you expire now. And I love this one. The number of thy days. I will forfeit. Say I will live long. Say I will live long. Say I will live long. Say I will live well. Finally, what do you do to have the blessing that will enlarge you? Thanksgiving. Continuously. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving until three things are in place. Number one, heart of gratitude. Heart of what? Heart of what? Heart of what? Heart of what? You have to develop heart of gratitude continuously. He starts from the heart. For Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. He said, I have rejected him. His heart is not grateful. Heart of gratitude. You see, many of us, beyond what you are saying in the mouth, God is looking at your heart. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Point in your heart. Oh, Lord, you have not done anything for me this year. I'm only thanking you because Pastor Matthew says so. Lord, thank you, thank you. And you are shouting for your heart. Do you know God listening to both your heart and your mouth? He says, say not in your heart. Have you not read it? Say not in thy heart. Say not in thy heart. Is that Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 10 to 18? There about. Somewhere there, it says, say not in your heart. So your heart is talking more than your mouth is speaking. So when we are doing Thanksgiving now, don't let your heart be questioning God. Number two, how to thank God is with your dance and your praises. It's with your dance and your praises. It's with your dance and your praises. Your dance and your praises. Thank you, media. They are giving you that verse. They told me chapter 8, verse 17. And thou say in thy heart. So, dancing and praising is what makes you to be blessed. Psalm 149. Psalm 149, verse 5 to the end. Psalm 149, verse 5 to the end. Let the same be joyful in glory. Let them sing along upon their bells. Verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and the two edges sword in their hands to execute vengeance and all that. Let them praise God with a dance. Let them praise God with a dance. So today, as we praise God with a dance, God is going to release his blessing upon you. And somebody said, what is dance? It is moving, movement up and down and rejoicing. That's what brings you into a dance. Coordinated and uncoordinated movement. You don't just stand in one place and you say you are dancing. 
<clears throat> you have to rejoice. Number three is praising him with your resources. God does not value what you say until what you give follows it. Come measure our reference for him by what we give. Genesis chapter 22, verse 16 to 18. Now, Abraham, I know that you fear me, and by myself I swear unto you. I swear unto you. Now I know. In blessing, I will bless you. There are many people who not honor God with their mouth, <laughs> but their pocket is far from me. God measure our life by what we give unto him, our love for him. A genuine love is always measured by giving. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world and he sang. Oh, I love the world. Oh, I love the world. Oh, I love the world. And I love them. So much. Everybody will have been on their way to hellfire. If it was only singing that God was singing. But he so much loved the world. What did he do? The proof of love is in giving. So all my daughters, don't let any man deceive you with words. Every time he come, you are the sugar in my tea. A cockroach in my cupboard. Your eyeball and eyes lead is like a bunny. <laughs> and no ball. Too much mouth. <laughs> Too much mouth. And they know that's what lady, that's what made them to blow up. I've never seen an angel as beautiful as you are. Every time I see you, my spirit leave me. <laughs> my, my, my spirit leave me. You are my oxygen. <laughs> Without you, Without you, I cannot breathe. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. And every time you do all that, nothing come out of pocket. <laughs> you have seen a fake, fake square one. Love. Every genuine love, even if you don't talk, let your action talk. That's a genuine law. Naturally speaking, I'm not giving to people who talk so much, especially maybe about themselves. Mm -hmm. Once you're already talking too much, I just reverse. I know. The real doer, they are not talkers. You're only saying action. You're only saying action. You may say they are not romantic, but they are full of action. Stand to your feet. They are, they, are, they are full of action. 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 No, no, no. They are full of action. They are, they are, they are, they are full of action. They are men of action. They are men of action. Therefore, from today, the blessing that talks, God will give to you. The blessing that speaks, God will give to you. You will not know dryness, so oh. you will not borrow to survive. You will not know dryness. No matter how much they are selling cement, you will continue to build houses. You will continue to go forward in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and give God thanks and appreciate Him. Give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. Give Him all the adoration. Bless the name of the Lord. Exalt Him. Glorify Him. Are you excited about the day? Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. He's our father. He's our maker. He's our Jesus. He's our king. 
Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Ashantala Rabadu Shidia Avaria to Shada Ayane Shada Gadiza Ila Variada My Alleluia belong to you. What about you? My Alleluia belongs to you. All the glory. Glory belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah belongs to you. Give him all the glory. All of the glory belongs. All of the glory belongs. Glory, we give all you glory. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory. Yeah. Can you lift your hand? Let's give him all the glory. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. You did he has done to you this year this month last month bless the name of the lord exalt him glorify him bless the name of the lord exalt him give him all the praise give him all the honor we worship you we give you all the glory i am grateful lord thank you lord in jesus name we pray before we get into our thanksgiving and begin to pronounce the blessing, everyone that want to receive the blessing of the Almighty God, everyone that want to become bigger and better, this particular month that we have entered, one thing you need to do is to hand over your life to Jesus, be born again, have your sin forgiven, and become a proper bona fide child of the kingdom. So I want to pray for you in a moment to hand over your life to him and receive salvation. Wherever you are in the hall, can you please lift up your right hand above your head? You want to be born again today? You want to surrender your life to Jesus? And I will be ready to pray for you and pray with you. God bless you. Your right hand, not the left. I want to be saved. I need Jesus Christ to be the Lord of my life. I need to surrender my life to Jesus and make him my father and make him my Lord. Wherever you are, you can come to the altar and then I'll be ready to pray with you. The rest of us, go ahead and tell the Lord to make you larger, bigger, and greater. For those that want to surrender their life or rededicate your life, you step forward to the altar and then I'll be ready to pray with you. As far as we are concerned, this is your season of enlargement, expansion, to the right, to the left, enlargement, to the right, to the left, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I decree and declare that you begin to enlarge, expand, enlarge, expand, enlarge, and expand. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering and please be seated. Now, very quickly, we go into our Thanksgiving. But this time around, it's going to be two, but we are going to do the two at the same time. The first one is special Thanksgiving. 
birthday celebrant, wedding anniversary. One thing or the other God has done for you and you want to thank him for. You package your seed right now. And the second one is general thanksgiving. This is the tenth month. You have taught about the faithfulness of God. And you want to give him all the glory for what he has done for your life. We are going to do the two at the same time. And both we dance out at the same time. What will make the difference is that you separate the seed. The first seed, special thanksgiving. The second one is general thanksgiving. And then you come out with the boat and we begin to rejoice and also thank God for you. One thing is sure. Everything in your hand now, God will enlarge it. God will expand you. God will increase you in the name of Jesus. You need the assistance of the ushers or the officials. You can signal to them. They will be at your back and call. This is your day of blessing. Your day of increase. The choir will begin to sing and all of us will dance forward to the altar to honor the Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you so much. You are the reason for the season, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody is dancing now. I hope you are dancing Oh, 